Can no, no, here's what we call all. it. Should we call it, can we have new weapons, please? Well, whatever. We're, 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 tanker. we're recording now. <laughs> yeah, <so>. exactly. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Uh, oh, darn it. Uh, uh, Jay, you are not in roll 20 yet, so just giving you that heads up. Okay, right. I am in roll 20. I just didn't get launched the game yet. I'm sorry. I was just... yeah, it's How cool. dare you? You are making us late. Take your time, you man. You're ashamed of yourself. Duck Ocalypse. <sighs> the Duck Oplex, yeah. <laughs> No, that that's that's when that's when we're facing Tiamat. <laughs> no, no, the the the, the bonus suck stuff is from. Uh, yeah, it, I, I know, episodes. I know. Yeah, we're going. I was I I used the the term bonus ducks just for side content because that's, that's that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, this is kind of a bit of both actually. So I'll just say part six for now. Okay. All right, this is part six. Where are we right now? You guys, you guys are um on the ship. We are. You have escaped from the six call, and the um, what's it called? The the white dragon. The white dra the white dragon. What we banished, oh. and it's now somewhere else, else in the world. But we, the big. But that the was that was Nestor hitting it with the uh the who the hell is Steve Jobs maneuver. Yeah. I, I thought like it because it, the, the 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 ice colossus was holding it that you know it would go with the ice colossus to the elemental plane of ice. It did. It just but after a minute it it went somewhere else, back to the regular uh, plane. Because because the Zigzagal was from the elemental plane of ice, it stayed. But since the, the white... white dragon was from the material planes, it actually had to come back. Yeah. So you guys have time to like go back to uh, its lair to loot the place and all that mm -hmm. stuff, which is what we're doing right now. I'm pretty sure Tinker's got this thing kicked into high gear right now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys are going back to the lair, or back yeah. to the lair. Yep. All right, you guys take the second entrance, and I've got you. We'll put over there. Uh, can we also get the uh, one woman in down here as well? Why? Yeah, I think it'd be best if we left her on the ship. I don't know. Well, no, we would need, G we would need to G know would where need, her hidden yeah, research is. Yeah, we would need to oh. know where, where her research is and everything. So we, And not only that, but she would know the layout of this place a little bit more than the rest of us, considering she's been here for longer. That's fair. So, fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, oh, All right, so right. I will say this. She would, Cliff would let her be on his back the entire time. Hmm. Question is, would she want to be on his back? Hmm. Okay. Would she want to be there? Who knows? I don't know. So. But for the sake of brevity, she is, so. Yeah. Yeah. All just right. to, like, just, like, keep up with, just so she doesn't have to worry about keeping up with the rest of the party in <coughs> case things get dicey. Fair enough. Okay, so you, you guys, you, it's the second entrance. Yep. And, uh, you know, you, like, arrive at the village or whatever, and then go, like, use that entrance and, you know, all that stuff. All right, where Jason, are you going? I say, Jason point blank is immediately going to recall the ice toads and is going to ask the, uh, is going to ask the woman, I saw before that there were giant ice toads writing and scribing and all that other, like, he points over just towards the uh, where the chamber is, just ahead. Do you think we'd find the stolen knowledge in there, or would we have to go further in or around? I gotta actually look real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see, where is it? Oh, it is. Um, to look. Eleven. So those this dice toads thing? Yeah, the giant is... ice toads. He recalled those and was like, "Hey." Oh. That is thirteen. So that is. Oh, okay. Uh, no, that's actually their work. Their workshop. That's not where the. No, the research has been put. Workshop right. for what? Well, if it's anything as Jason describes, possibly scrolls or maps, or maybe even. Inventory of the Dragon's Horde. Very likely, mm -hmm. yes. I didn't really keep track. Well, 
looks I over do at Dink. apologize Look. for your kobolds. They were useful to me. I'm not really mad about it too much. But it did slow down my work a little bit. If the coal, uh, I wonder though, if, once the dragon is gone, if these kobolds will even have a place to go now. Will they, will they mourn the loss of their dragon master, or will they just find some other place to go ne next, free from their slate? Kobolds normally like to worship dragons, so, like, they see them as gods. I think we can discuss the nature of kobold worship after we find the research. Mm. If it's not there with the toads, where is it? Not that far Probably from Probably with the rest of the horde. I was asking her. I was gonna say, not that far from where you found me. Alright. Well then, it seems we do have quite the adventure ahead of ourselves. Let's get to it, shall we? Point right. away. Point away. I'll just cover you. I'll cover your rear. I think my claws will do that just fine. She, I, she, I'm joking, by the way. That I, I said that out of character. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what little uh, crevice are we starting in? Yeah, where's she, where's she leading us to? This is where you are right now, but yeah, where is she leading? Us? Yeah, yeah, but uh, I mean, are we going this way way over here, or are we going down down around here you're, towards you're, that pirate ship? You're going up, but uh. You can go wherever you want if you want. You can go up if you want. Down. Well, they've they've asked her just directly point blank where is it stored, and they're expecting her to lead them to it. Right. Okay. So it's, it's, it's like over here. Point them in that direction. You see on point ping. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. It's over there. So go it's... ahead and move your tokens to where she, you you found. Her. All right. So back to where her little. Oh. little uh... Tent was then. Mm -hmm. No encounters along the way. I can if you want to, but <clears throat> I got I mean, other I things just, planned. I was just asking if things were going to be quiet here, if this was going to be an easy. I mean, or the, the only go. real thing we. Why, Nestor? Why, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Why, the, Nestor, the key to The victory. only thing we're likely to to have an actual encounter with is that one ice troll, which is here, by the way. Oh, jeez. It, is it still is it still pretty much frozen in place? No, it's that was for two rounds. All right. Can you come here for a second? Can you come here for a second? What? He's he's hollering for somebody in the other room. He's been called away. Right. Don't go happened. upstairs. I'm meeting you at the bottom. I'm meeting you at the hey. bottom. He's Hi. probably probably got called away okay. for something. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Thank okay, you. I gotta find where I put Jade. Jade's still at the entrance. And Ezra's too. I'll get them real quick. No, I'll get you. Just like I'm trying to get the... I'm up there. God, wait. I... Mom! What? Why I told you, I'm in a D and d game right now. I'm, I'm playing a D&D &D right game right now, Mom. Like, I'm in the middle of one now with, 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 with peeps online and with friends. And I told you, I told you this. I told you I had a, one tonight. Like, I yelled at you and said... Not right now. I I'm doing the D with friends, but you know you just you just don't listen. I I don't know if it's like the weird way sound travels from down to up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. Nestor, <laughs> mute yourself, man. Oh great! Now they could they could probably hear that. They could probably hear. Yeah, that we we've that been he hearing a lot of that. You might do. I'm it. sorry. Um. Wait, did she hang up? The most bonus of ducks. You hang up on me. That's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It's. Uh, it's oh boy. My mom does that to me too sometimes. Right. She just interrupts me in the middle of something. I saw. I say I told you about this, and then she hangs up because she doesn't want to listen to it. So. Uh, things all good, Jay? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Let's continue. Once again, we love our parents. We love our parents. Yes, we do. Let, let YouTube know that there are indeed wholesome family values in this. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere? <Exactly. laughs> you just, got, you just gotta look real hard. 
end. It's violence in movies and sex on TV. We're getting demonetized. <laughs> yeah, what's not? Fox is currently kicking down your door. <laughs> okay, okay, enough, enough, enough. Yeah. All right. Wait, who's at the door? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rescue. <laughs> uh, right here. All right, all right. Nice one, Rescue. Because I was hoping you'd do something like that. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, we've, we've uh, gone way off track now. Yeah, yeah, it was only a few seconds, though. I was, so, was going to make a request. But, yeah, so, we're, we're back in the room with the ice troll. Yep, and it, it, it's 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 back. It, it was on it was on the ramp again, so it sees you right there. Ezra looks up and he goes, "Oh, hello, Smelly." It like roars in your face. Ah, Ace has already got his blade drawn. He's he's not about <sighs> to play these games. I don't think it's going to want to do anything this time. It's Cliff is gonna Cliff is gonna look over at Jason. <sighs> You and me, watch this thing, let everyone else do their thing. I had half a mind to reduce it to pulp, but if that's our prerogative, then go ahead. I'm not exactly fit for dirting academic tomes for anything of value. You just hear Ezra go, but I... But you what? <laughs> you just cut yeah, out you can, Ezra. You can, but, yeah. Yeah, you cut yeah, okay, out. Okay, so... Okay, so Cliff is going to be right about here. Uh, Before you even get to that thing. point, hmm? Cliff, hmm? It, it, it jumps right in front of you. Whoa! It jumps right down in front of you. You ever want to shift? It's not, it's not wow. going to move, he said. It won't have a mind to, he said. <laughs> Ezra just shrugs as he looks at Jason. Hey, I'm wrong sometimes. <laughs> You're wrong. Okay, just okay. Roll initiative. Yeah. Well, Matt, feel like hey. try to trick it to like. Uh, wait, no, you're still cursed. You can't. Move. Nineteen. Nineteen. Damn. And it would be like too stupid to like try. That would be fun. And I hit that. I hit that eighteen initiative. I'm feeling pretty good. It mm -hmm. got. It, it got a fourteen. Well, everyone's rolling good tonight. Yeah. This the, is this, good luck. This eye troll got a, f a fourteen. <laughs> oh, and the troll got a zero. No, I got a 14. 14. No, 14. My bad. Uh, oh. if it had, I want to say, how does it get a zero? M minus one to initiative. <laughs> I mean, no. oh, yeah, true, I guess. Uh, Jay got a 10. Uh, and and McCaff. Tinker pulled a 15. Right. Just, oh, yeah, everyone run, ran, rolled pretty damn good today. Oh, yeah, t t t Tinker didn't All right, we finna run this thing spade. Let's go. Tinker didn't cook so, his token. Uh, Jay, quick question. Wait, how, what, what did Tinker get again? 15, okay. 15. 15, okay, and I'm going to just yeah. have, uh, I think there's enough people for it. I'm going to have a fight, just because it's not going to, like, yeah. not uh, bother. Jay, quick question. Yeah? Since we tied, can Jason go first? Of course, you can. Sweet. Okay, let's see here now. Uh, What's your dex mod clip? Did you hear what they said? No. What? Clip, what's your dex mod? Uh, dex, my dex is z plus zero. I go first. Right. Oh, Ooh, okay. Just because of the tiebreakers. All right. Yeah. Uh, Ezra's yeah. first time. Uh, so. I'm going to get like a, I'm, a, I'm not even really sure if I need to even put, put music on, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's 90 feet away, yeah? Yep. Oh, boy. Fun times in Ridgemont High. <laughs> well, go ahead and zoop him with a sapping sting. Okay. BC okay. sixteen con save. Okay, so it's got um. I gotta look at the ice troll step up quick. Ice troll five e. It is. Yeah, it's it's just the same thing except it's got damage and immunity cold. Okay. Okay, so I, I was right. Oh, it's got fire form ability. Okay, okay, so Zapping Sting. Uh, con save, right? Yes, sir. It falls. it falls prone. It falls prone. It falls prone. You're the proninator. <laughs> Minus. 
And uh, how about uh, how about again? Jeez. So Double it just doesn't prone. get to do anything. Double yes. prone, it gets Smash Brothers buried. That's um, eighteen, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pass the cliff. Okay, it's so uh, it's prone. You guys remember how, how the other day, day Ezra made this thing just stay in one place the whole damn time? Yeah, like he's doing right now. <laughs> Add your enemy. He has to make a wisdom save. Oh. On a fail. On a failed, his speed is zero. Yep, he's n he ain't going nowhere. So he can't even get up now. <laughs> he can't even get up. Mm -hmm, mm -mm. He can't even get up. Oh no. And and he won't get up as long as none of us attack him. Well, that's gonna be pretty f pretty easy because like. <laughs> as so long as so none you of just attack him, you say? You just well, hear. <laughs> Just your Jason went up. <laughs> <laughs> so the I clunk feel... of chain metal and great sword. So I feel like you you guys are just gonna see Cliff standing in front, looking down at this guy. Like, I would not get back up if I were you. He's just standing there, missing me. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Wait, was he speaking Sylvan? <laughs> that was me. That was no. above board. That was above board. That was yeah. above board. <laughs> Speak yeah. common, Candy. I could have been that. Let's retcon that to be actually him saying that. Nah, that's that was me. <laughs> <laughs> so sadly enough, Jason can't even get range in range to it. No, he can. He's got plunge. Plunge is an additional twenty feet. Um, oh, that's nice. Okay, so I guess. So I guess since he, this guy's the only thing. Uh, yeah. So that was my action to to get him to ho stay in place. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you gonna do to I, this thing? <laughs> you know, As a reminder, oh. you have an advantage on everything for this guy right now. Yeah, yeah, you do. Well, in that case, bonus action hunter's mark. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and the one lance attack. That, um, that that's an advantage, so that's twenty six hit. And plus the the hunter's mark. Oh, one damage. That's great. Gotta love Hunter's Mark. Uh, question: Where did he get the attack from? That's a good uh, question. Where he has he... a main action and an extra attack. He has a paladin. Oh right, right. Okay, I'm. Just... And I need to. I'm used to. Up. I'm used to the usual like um, the usual bonus attack of like you only get it after your attack action. Yeah, I thought that was the thing too. Yeah. He, 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 but. Used... I remember you saying. I remember you saying something about this when I asked about paladins before. So yeah, no, I got you. Well, I was I was just curious. I wasn't trying to like. It's fine. Thump the rule book because I was like, I need to learn how to do this too. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that uh, hits. And then nine, nine piercing. piercing. Whopping ten damage. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Uh, th then I'll just go ahead and make another Ill lance attack. I guess. You got your. Yeah. You use it dead already. Your main action. Your main All action. right, so. You don't even have haste on right either, so that that's not gonna happen. All right, Jason, go yep. nuts. Boga boga. Jason on the top rope with a steel chair. Uh, <laughs> so plunge. I'm burning two uh, well of darkness points as my bonus action, taking my 30 feet of movement, jumping an additional 20 to an unoccupied space, and then I can immediately make an attack action. Up, someone's pinging me. With a melee attack against um, this creature. No, 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 no. So, don't I don't have dark side bonus damage yet. Exactly. However, booga booga, great weapon what master. The fuck? Why did it? That misses. <laughs> no, no, that was a, that was a minus. What the? Huh? Oh, how did that? How did that happen? I know I'm being silly. Attack modifier <laughs> instead of great sword. Uh, that, Yo, that, does does it not one minus five hit? He still has advantage. Well, he still he is still. And, that, that uh, is I'm actually going to burn a reaction here. Let's see. So, if thirteen hit it. Wait, hold on. Don't don't. Does if they're not prone, hold on. Does a thirteen hit it before anything else? No. Roll it again. All right. Roll it again. Okay. Yeah. Roll he again. has advantage, but yep. oh, yeah, that still wouldn't matter though. Seventeen hit. Yes. Ah! Ooga, great ooga. sword damage. Twenty-seven. Forty-seven. <laughs> Again. 
Don't forget, fire. Don't forget. Does it 26 hit? No, it's actually 21, does... but. He still oh. has advantage. Oh, that's right. Does yeah. a 26 hit it? No, but yeah. <laughs> yes, but actually, no. <laughs> this, thing, this thing has taken 54 damage in two hits. By the way, this is before Dark Side. Dark Side oh, no. would be an additional D8. Roll it. No, he doesn't have Dark Side because he popped his bonus action this turn. Well, that's yeah. too bad then. Nestor, finished off. Booga booga. Nestor, do Nestor things. Attack it with is the like, Oh, wow. Um. Sees like sees these two like like brutally carved into it. It's probably like lost like two of its both of its arms right now, and he just needed to put the poor thing out of its misery. So not wasting any more time, firebolt. Good on you. <laughs> That's gonna do it. Twelve fire damage. <laughs> and then he just like ignites its head in the flames as as like it's. Head is like burned alive, and because of that, you know, it not only prevents it from re re regenerating, it also, you know, b burns the brain and stuff, which is, you know, connected to the rest of the body, preventing mm -hmm. further generation. Wow, that was, th yeah, that, that, Nestor that, just, Nestor just said, I am not killing you, I am erasing your bloodline. <laughs> no, he literally just said, This is what we call a mercy killing. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I mean, yeah, with. With Cliff debuffing the shit out of it, and you know, Jason basically just landing on it. Mm -hmm. I I like how the party just walked into this thing's room, kneecapped him, poked <laughs> him when he was down, and then dropped the chair on his head. <laughs> you see like that? And then just, just to like add insult to so... injury, they threw a lit match on his gasoline-covered body. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> y'all are good people. <laughs> yeah, we just, we just, okay, let's just face it, guys. We murder Hobo, Hobo the Troll. <laughs> oh, you troll on man. the troll. I mean, to be fair, I just, like, imagine it was, like, pretty, like, I mean, to be fair, the boss was probably going to kill it eventually for letting the prisoner escape, so either we killed him or a dragon would froze him alive and put him as a trophy somewhere, so. A dragon um, would likely eat him. Free bread, then. Yeah. So, uh... I don't right. care what a dragon would have done to him. I'm just here to get what we need and get out. Yep. So, free, free movement. Point, free, yeah. free movement up to that point, yep. And, right, uh... Stop it right, and yeah. Over there. We see. What do you see? Oh, see. Is, is, yeah. So you can make a perception roll, or does a, uh... All right, 16 perception. pass of perception give me anything? Uh, 16 perception... Blah, blah. Uh, 16 pre... Pa uh, I can't talk. <sighs> okay. A sixteen passive perception. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that does need see well, you see stuff. Uh, okay. Three shelves stand in the otherwise empty cavern, cobbled together out of savage wood wh whalebone pieces of giant's armor, and even frozen limbs of yetis. A number of scrolls, book, books, parchments, and all folios are carefully line, arranged on the shelves, all bearing the, the markings of magical writing. Okay. And it says. If Macath is with the party, she can direct them to the items stolen from the host tower of the arcane. So, she is. So she can. All right. Hey. Uh, do we know what we're looking for? He knows what we're looking for, and she's going to direct us to it. Yep, mm -hmm. that's what she said. I mean, so uh, now, big question: uh, Are those various books and things going to be pointed out to Tinker? Uh, yes. Tinker's going to immediately kind of beeline for that. Like, he's gonna, yeah. I'm gonna burn, um, a shardle on stride, and he's gonna rocket skate towards them. Nestor is gonna, like, help himself to see, like, what else he can find around here in it as well, to, like, bring back that's, that's, that's being kept in this room, that, uh, is not, uh, does not belong to McCaffe. McCaff, but yeah. I would, uh, I would like to burn my researcher feet. What, what for? Uh, so essentially, I'm able to find exactly what we're looking for on the first try. But she's just a point, yeah, towards what. Yeah, yeah never mind. Go ahead. Either way. I, th I, must say, I think he means like. Still gotta find it. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So even if she tries to mislead, Ezra's gonna be able to find out what we're actually here for. If she has malicious intent. She doesn't, but yeah. 
I mean, uh, yeah, in the, in the case, I guess, right? Either way, it'll it'll yeah. also help out. All right, Mister um, and Tinker, if they want to find something in particular. As you like go down there, she's like kind of like has a hand out. It's like, wait, mm -hmm. you, you you shouldn't try to read those. And why not? The writing probably, sorry. probably got some kind of ward on them, or a curse, or we could just let her say what it is. If they got a curse, I can I can fix that. It's, you were saying the writings are laced with diabolical ward as and and then I cannot read that word right there. Anathema, is that what? Anathema. Anathema to the moral mind. Oh well, good on me then that I am not technically mortal. Ezra shrugs. I speak abyssal, so I get headaches all the time. I would rather not have any of you go comatose while we're here. Completely ignoring that Tinker's gonna just grab a book and crack it open. War Fortress technically some mortal, so roll with some scene throw. Okay. Uh, that's a 10. Uh, I'm gonna bump that up to a 15. If you had, had you not done that, <laughs> yeah. Alright. Skin of your teeth. Skin your teeth, yeah. Your your yes. wooden teeth or whatever. I don't know. Uh, so he's got the Washington fangs. He's got the <laughs> Yo, those those Washingtons, bro? Anyways, yeah. um success indicates the character recognizes the danger and the danger and stops breeding. Failure indicates that the character absorbs the power of the Phoenix War and suffers a like shock. Oh, so I just don't get anything out of this book? I think you, like, start reading and you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to continue. Yeah, this is literally, it's going to nuke my mind, mortal or not. So, here's the I thing. probably stop. It, it basically, what it does, when you're in the shock, you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks, and you would have to attempt a, a, a constitution saving throw, a constitution check just to cast a spell. And on a field check, the spell cannot be cast, though the spell slot is not expended. For how That's long? Fucking awful. It, it says the character can make another saving throw to end the, the each end the fact each time he or she finishes a long rest. Effectively, <laughs> Mickey. Oh, shit. Until, so basically, you have this until it's gone. I yes. Think it's a flaw. Pretty much. Oh my god. This this wait is, is this isn't a curse effect so Cliff can't do nothing. For he can't that do game. anything for it. No. Yeah. The, oh. Funny. Anchor about got hit with that fucking like Valve software TF2 like fucking item balance. Holy shit. He, 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 he just Tinker almost Tinker almost got downgraded to to fu fucking to, uh, Windows, to, to Windows Five or whatever. I don't yeah. Know. No, I'm. Like, no, I, I, time Ezra's been like. No, no, no I'm more thinking dial up. Uh, <laughs> dial up, definitely. I was, I was referring to the shit they did to uh, the cleaner's carbine back when TF2 first launched it. Thing used to be god tier, and then it became actually useless. <laughs> and That's they a nasty... continued to nerf it every update. That is a nasty curse. Perhaps we could find. Perhaps we should. Is there any way for us to take put the curse off the books before reading it, or is there another way? I may potentially have a few contacts if I cannot do it myself. Well, besides, um, you know, Jay did does that fine, fine of things, um, because that investigation role did. Like besides the books that she needs um, back, you guys uh, find yourselves a, a quite a few, uh, other rather Nestor does finds quite a few spell scrolls. Oh? Ah, uh, spell sc regular spell scrolls. These will do these will definitely come in handy. Do you decide to read what kind they are, or? Yo, def he's definitely gonna read what kind they are first. No check for this. It just, it just, it, I'm just going to roll it. That's all. Uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five. This entire time, Jason's just keeping as far away from one, the bookshelves two. as possible because he knows for a goddamn fact he is not gonna go anywhere near those. You just hear Ezra from the back. Hey guys, guess what? I found the Book of Vile Darkness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so it's a D10. Okay, so I'm gonna... Oh god. So you got... So he found... A scroll of chain lightning. Uh, Ooh! That's fun. 
a scroll of unlimited power. <laughs> so, if I got a 10, that, you guys would probably be more amazed. You didn't get get a 10, though. Oh, wait, it says 10, says 10 scrolls, so I just gotta roll 10 times. Oh, no. Really? So roll a 9d10, I suppose, and then... Actually, technically, yeah, I, I could just visual? give you all, all 10 of them, if I mm. wanted to. You know, sure, I'll do that. But we'll use them wisely, okay? Oh boy. Okay, oh boy. so Nestor, you find quite a few things. Uh, do you want to read what the other scrolls are? But of course. Okay, one of the um, scrolls is of gaseous form. Oh. One of them is of haste. Okay. One of them is protection from energy. Not bad. Water breathing is another one. Everge black tentacles. Oh. Uh, fire shield. Okay. Wall of fire. Lots of fire. Hold monster. And get this. This is this, this last spell. Disintegrate. Oh, damn. Nestor better keep that thing in a fucking lockbox at all times. Oh, definitely gonna keep this one safe. He says pocketing to disintegrate and... Uh, and he's gonna like, and maybe keep this one too. Then he just like pockets <laughs> the chain lightning as well. All right, does anyone? Uh, how else do you want to split the rest of these? Okay, so real quick, uh, we have we have scroll a scroll of chain lightning, gaseous form, haste, protection from energy, black tentacles, fire shield, wall of fire, hold monster, and disintegrate. And water breathing. And a great and chain lightning right. Nestor is pocketed, so the other ones are up for grabs. He's offering. Yep. As for the rest of the scrolls that are in this place, they're they're mostly just deteriorated from Danvis or Age. However, it says you found these. Yeah, I, I'm keeping an eye, an eye on our. Uh... That twenty two is what got you all of them. So after like the the announcement, Ezra walks back up to McCaff and he goes, "Here." <clears throat> here. I think I've found all of the necessary literature that you've been looking for, and he kind of like drops them in her arms. <laughs> Thanks. She, she, she just she says like a bit of a more of like a matter of how I say it, like like a like a I told you so sort of tone. Yeah, yeah. I will say you put them in some really weird sort of organization cues um, might do you good to hire an arcanist well, just why two cents well, I won't have a problem doing that uh, if I if I had those cobalt still <laughs> let's be real they weren't going to do that they're the ones that probably did that considering they were all alphabetized and draconic Don't blame her for being upset, though. I'd be a little cross if I lost a few of my own fellows, but... Hmm. Well, I'm contingency plans. Well, I'm guessing the rest of you probably want to check out the uh, Arathator's um, horde, then, don't you? Knowing people Honestly, like you... Jason's gonna interject. Honestly, I am was just here to fulfill our end of the bargain and get you back to the top side. If they want to... I will begrudgingly follow, but no interest personally. The ransom that was offered for your return is more than enough. Ezra kind of like slings his left arm around Jason and he goes, oh, come on, you don't want to go take a look downstairs? Can't tell me you're not curious. Down, if we take a look downstairs and that thing comes out of whatever Nestor did, it is going to try and kill us. By my guess, we have about three days. <laughs> That's just a guess, though. Anyone else want to go take a look downstairs? I would like to first sit, have a look a, around around the, this floor for a little bit longer. Nestor's just gonna like there's, turn a, up his there's a couple of other what, no, Jay, entrances I mean, that. No, no, no um, boss, stop. Mm, uh, what, what, right. what Jay talk? I was gonna say, say Nestor's just perks up his grasses, like you know, studying the scrolls, and he's just like thinking, like. I wonder when I'm ma when making co if I copy some of the stuff from these scrolls while making custom magic scrolls. 
if only. <laughs> but you don't have the access to um, more, like more the the, the the ranks. So, and a bunch of these are like higher level. So, yeah, we definitely gotta rank that shit up now. <laughs> All right. Um, With that, Jason's going to propose this. How about I walk our friend back up to the airship, and if I can, I'll meet you all back down. Should I feel I'm taking too long, I'll simply remain on the ship while you all poke around freely. Unless you need me here. I'd rather keep her out of harm's way for as long as possible. So if the dragon does come back from the world of the... F- 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 from the plane of elemental ice, wouldn't it the airship be the first thing it attacks? Hmm. That's assuming it's Tides. I miss my muscle bound grease mirror. What? He's t- he's poking fun at Jason. Oh, okay. <laughs> His muscle bound grease mirror. Muscle bound grease mirror. Jeez. <laughs> you call me that again. And whatever order you answer to is not going to be able to identify what's left. That's a big <laughs> threat there. He's clearly joking. He's clearly joking. He's got a grin on his face. That's a big threat there. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> so. I right, but, think but, yeah, it might be so, okay if I go ahead and go look at the horde. Considering uh, there can be two of me. I am definitely st- coming, following you to watch, at the very least, watch your back. See you. Well, I wouldn't be opposed to it, given that you're... What do you call him? Bro-man? Man-bro? <laughs> he <laughs> likes to be called dude-bro. That. Whatever but... he is. Given that you seem to be able to pull him from fucking nowhere, <laughs> I'd feel a little more comfortable at least sending him in the place of someone more important. Let's see. Honestly, I just call him Brozer. Brozer? And that was me above game, not not Cliff. Right. Okay. So Ezra is going to saunter his way to the the hook hole, which is like you mean the one Over that's there. right directly next to you. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. Do you, don't you see it? Yeah. The, there. There's. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's this one right here. But, but, didn't know but that honestly, also leads down I would... into the horde. Honestly, I would like to see what what's around this pirate ship over here in the uh, other on the other side of the map. I was gonna say is that this this hole leads down to down the downstairs, like the last one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I was just gonna look down. He's gonna go, "Hello, hello, oh, hello." Let's see. And, uh, how far down do you think it is? I'm gonna look real quick. Uh, first things first. It, this is. It says this is a 15 foot wide chute that leads down to Area 19, which is, you know, d- down below. But uh, yep. let's see. Let's see. It says, "Ooh, that's quite a bit. 60 feet deep." Just 60 feet deep. Yeah. All right. Cool. We bussin'. <laughs> uh. That echo uh... bussin. <laughs> He's gonna flick uh, his Okay, wrist. Hold, hold on, hold on. Ezra, before you do that, he, Cliff is just gonna grab. Well, come on, come on, kiddo. Gra- grabs you and just jumps. Absolutely using, not. I'm burning using my, I am using the Absolute. Vind rune. I am using the Vind rune. Absolutely not. I take no fall much. damage. Absolutely not. You are gonna fall down yourself. Yeah, but according to the Vin Rune here, I take no fall. I I can as a reaction when you fall. It, it you can... doesn't matter if he's not taking fall damage or not. He said no, and he's using something to get out of it. Yeah, fair enough. So he watches as Cliff jumps into the hole, takes no fall damage, and asks him, "Do you see anything?" Uh, let's take a look. Uh, I'm guessing I I need to make a perception check. Well, um, since you take no fall damage. You're put right here, by the way. Do you see it? Do you uh, see yeah, I, I see the general. I'll put myself in the that general area. That's where there you go. That's where you're put. Yeah. It's 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 it. Okay, so now you're there. So. Nineteen. So um. 
Okay, so uh, am I making a perception check or anything, or what? Let's see. Yeah. All right, so... Da -da -da -da. 22. Okay, you can see from uh, from your little perch there, because you're on top of, like, a, a little so bit. So I, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm right up here then, All right? Yeah, right there. You see, um, heck, that's quite a lot of stuff you can see. Okay, so this uh, right here uh, in this general area mm -hmm. is where the horde is, I think. Okay, look, look though. Yep, I see a lot of gold. Gold, gold jewels, and other treasure lies scattered on the floor and frozen into walls of this vast chamber. It's stuck in the ice. Br bring, bring Nestor. Let's see. We uh, might so be able to melt some good shit out of there. Uh, one other thing. It is not so colder here than anywhere else in the, uh, in the iceberg, reaching negative ten degrees Fahrenheit. And I am freezing my hooves off. Should have brought the jacket. I did. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, well, don't worry, don't worry, I'll go down there. Though I am... Um, hmm. Let's see. Misty no, step. Wait. That's like a word. No, wait, wait, wait uh, up to 50 feet. That might not... That 30, won't work. 30 feet. Yeah, just, that, that just, won't... Just jump. Just jump. Just jump. Yeah, Cliff, Cliff, Cliff can yeah. catch you. Yeah, no, you're catch fine, you. just jump. It's also, oh, sh it's, also sh it's also a shoot, by the way, so it's uh not going to hurt you. All right, he's just gonna jump down and just trump. Okay, all right, just uh, all right. He's By the just way, gonna, uh, he's just like reluctantly trying to warm himself up to try to jump down. It's like, okay, Nestor, you can. Are you stupid, Nestor? Whatever. Ezra just shoves him. <laughs> just, oh, he shoves Ezra him. Just shoves him down the hole. Should I make a strength check to catch him? That that would be a dex check actually, but go right ahead. So strength. Oh. I said dex. No dex. Uh, so, um, what? by the way, 15. hypothermia sets in uh, when the body starts to reach 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So, wait, what so happens? Be, these guys being in negative 10, even fully clothed, they're going to have to work quickly. Yeah. Resistance to cold. It that doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, this fair is, enough. Fire this wounds is heating them up. Cold. So, Tinker's going to kind of kick on his rocket boots and just gracefully float down behind uh Nestor. All right. Oh, even with I was fire, before he does that Ezra look, looks at him and goes, "I don't have to shove you down there, do I?" If you do that, you're coming down with me. Understandable. Oh, so where's the, the so the wall of gold is like right here or No, no. It's 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 like right over here actually. Where? Here, I'll, here, I'll help you out. So it's, it's along the wall. It's like along this wall right here. So, Nestor, right around there. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, let's get this over. It's time to warm things up. And he's going to do what all of mages do, wizards do best. You know what it's coming for. You know what it is. It's the meme spell. It's... Fireball. Yes. I was going to say, burning hands? Fireball. Okay, you're just gonna. Okay, yeah. I mean, I w honestly, I would first go over there and see what we can actually get. Not only that, but that's like a 250 feet. I doubt Fireball can can reach that. Yeah, this is the, this 150 feet spell. Okay, never mind. He's got, okay. Never mind. Let's do that first. Then. Ezra kind of goes into his pack and he tosses down a torch. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Here. You might want some light, maybe a little bit of warmth. Oh, shit. A little more warmth is not a bad idea. Also, I just realized that Ezra could get them all out by constantly switching places with his uh, his echo. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Just send dude bro down there and just keep switcherooing back and forth one at a time. Mm-hmm. Mm yeah. He could. It, yeah. it just dawned on me that that's probably the strat. That probably is a strat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Note to self. Try to make a try to make custom spell of some sort that can allow people to withstand co extreme cold conditions. Isn't that just basically uh, 
That's basically just like heat metal or something. No, no, what was that? What was that one spell called? Absorb elements or something. No, it wasn't absorb spell? elements. It was something else. It was bonfire. Campfire. Yeah, bonfire could help. Oh, mm. I forget. There was a three point five spell that I f I'm thinking of. Actually, never mind. It was uh, anyway. So a torch is uh barreling down the end of the the. Oh, it was, yeah, now. it was endure elements, but that's a three point five spell, not not a five E mm. spell. Why isn't Endure Elements a regular 5e spell? Because they mm. realized that it wasn't going to be used in a lot of settings. Well, I'm going to say whereas, this. Whereas Pathfinder had, you know, more things to do with elements in it. Fair enough. Well, I guess I guess that could be like a custom spell or something. I, I don't know. Like if you like, combine mm. Exorb Elements and something else or something like that. Yeah. Like, oh wait, absor absorb elements and uh, mage armor. That's what I was thinking. That you mm -hmm. can make that into endure elements. Yep. All right. So you, know, you have to just make it a completely new spell just out of that, yeah. and we could just make a whole brew version of that into five e. Yeah. <laughs> I got that one. Yeah, I'll, that's, I'll, and I'll, that's why on the other one. <laughs> He's going to investigate the horde. Yeah. So. Well, at least I get a grudge point. Yep. Nat 20! Uh, there we go! And Jay oh, Big Brains. Oh, and I get my first... Um, divine Boon. Uh, divine Boon. Yep. Boom. Uh, uh, I like to th think that, that while we're, we're looking at around here, Quick just gets gets it, bon like, bonks his head or... Uh, on like a stalactite or something like that. Oh! So what happens is there's a bunch of like ice mirrors and he keeps like hitting to them like a dog <laughs> or something. Like a bird. <laughs> I think bird it's really dark without the torch. Yeah, I imagine it would be. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, oh, it says 19 and 20. Oh, uh, I'll just say this area has a uh, most of it. Okay, so. Wild gold, wild silver, and uh, a lot of things, jewels and such, but they're all buried in the ice. Does anything stick out to us? The very, like, hey, look at me, I'm I'm, I'm important. It says you can. Um, it's in addition, add potions, scrolls, and magic items at your discretion, but mm. it doesn't say what which ones. So it, it, I think it's that just means you can pick pick whatever you want. Yeah, I bet I can. But given the fact that this is a horde of an ice dragon that loves spells, I imagine most of this stuff would be just magical stuff that he would hoard. Yeah, probably like, ma probably like magic weapons and armor and stuff like that as well. A lot of magical I would, things but I say, I would hoard. I would think wands. Yeah, I was thinking like wand staves, um, magical rolls, maybe tones and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I, I got a few ideas then. I don't okay, know. so. Uh, I mean, that's just my two cents. No, though. no, that like, that that's a good idea. Uh, so maybe, Cliff, how do you think I should melt this ice? Oh wait, but do you think a fireball will be able to be enough, or should I just, or would that be a bit too much? I would. I think we should let Tinker handle this. This might require a bit more of a delicate touch. Ah, yes. He did show quite finesse with that welding, with his welding torch back at the cult hideout. Wheeled away, good Tinker, as he steps back and let the, uh, let the Tinker do his work and hands him the torch. Tinker's going uh, to take the torch from Nestor and kind of look at it. And he's going to just hand it back. You're going to need that a little bit more than I will. <laughs> uh, unlike you all, I don't really. I'm not really bothered by the cold. Or, uh, fair point. And I hope you're not. Uh, and I hope you're not bothered by being able to see in the darkness either. So, are there any, like, clearly visible, uh, like magical weapons, armor, oh, things yeah. of that sort? Yeah, I'm just trying to pick some some stuff out. That's all. Now, would they be kind of just strewn about, or would they be in the ice? They'd be in the ice. I'm okay. Just, just trying to decide, like, what which ones they'd be, you know? And before there's just, like, an entirely mundane short sword somehow found its way in there. 
That'd be it hilarious. was incredibly shiny. Oh my god, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, I had an idea. It's, it's, ooh, got, it's, got, it's got an inscription read oh. the Beaninator. <laughs> no, I, no, I have an idea for which one would be what, uh, one of the items would. would... <sighs> I have an idea for what one of the items would be. Let's see. Huh, that could be another one, good one too. All right, so that's I'm gonna get one more, and I'm gonna see. I'm just like picking these out. Um. Huh. Sure, I'll do that one too. These are these are these are reasonable to give. Uh, let's see. Is that? Oh yeah, that that. Hmm. These are no. Th these are reasonable. Just don't take them all quick, okay? These are mostly for everyone else. Mm, yep. All right. So Cliff Cliff would take him just to like hold hold on to him and care so we could carry him back up there. At the very least. All right. So I'm gonna say that you find. I mean, you'd have to roll an investigation check, I'd say. But um. Can I? Do I have to with that nat twenty or? I'm not you, but uh, you're you're fine. But. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Yep. Okay, so you um, see quite a few things, uh, Tinker. One of the things that catches your eye the most is a cloak of displacement. <coughs> However, again, should I, get, should I be handing that out or not? I mean, it's your campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, I'll, I'll just um, say that this is a. Uh... Let's see, causing creature. Oh, okay, that maybe. Um, actually, no, cloak of arachnid. Arachnid. You know the spider one. Um, that, yeah, that's arachnida. one. Arachnida. There's also a uh, staff of healing, and there's also the boots of Winterlands. So, in particular, the uh, the healing stick and the boots. Uh, I mean, I assume they have metal on them, right? Uh, the boots of the Winterlands are. Um, they're they're more for like. Uh, so these boots, the boots of the Winterlands, they require a tomb, of course, but they're furred boots and they're like warm and such. You have resistance to cold damage. You ignore difficult terrain created by ice or snow. You can tolerate. Te oh, that'd be very useful for for Ness right now. <laughs> you can tolerate to temperatures as low as, as negative fifty degrees Fahrenheit without any additional protection. If you wear heavy boots of Winterland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's it's gonna give the in the snow. He's gonna give the fire rune to um uh. He's gonna give the fire runes to uh to Cliff just and swap you, that. You can, and keep, you can keep that. You you can attune to both of those. Well, if you say so. I mean, you can't have tune to the boots of Wonderland anyway. I, not sure. I can't. I can't. Wear, Cliff cannot wear bo wear boots. He's got. He's got to wear horseshoes. Yes, that's why I said that. So the staff of healing, the what the the cloak of Arachn Arach I can never say it. Arachnida. Arachnida, and the staff of healing. You know, I think I have a way we can get up th th there with one of with a spell I know, of th uh, of the fun way one might say. Let's see, staff of healing does quite a few things. Good. Yes. And... Uh, so <clears throat> back to the question I asked. Uh, so the staff of healing it has metal on it, right? Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, it says it doesn't actually say. So it it could be if you wanted to. Well, considering that a bar to cleric or a druid has to use it. Yeah. Yeah, I would say no. Cons then it it would it, just likely it be might have like a little bit of like metal baubles on it, but yeah. it might be predominantly wood. Especially if it's a if it's a druid that has to have it. Yeah. Well, then in that case, I'm going to burn another use of a shardalon stride. 
and just kind of wall run a little bit. Let's see the stuff or, healing boots and uh, bonus wounds and the. I'm pretty sure the Rockinita one would probably, would probably be interesting for you, but maybe for something else. Uh, oh, there's also the gold and the stones and the scrolls and stuff. Uh, I've given you enough scrolls though, so I'm gonna just just say that like they're basic ones. You know what, I mean? what do we get as far as like the gold, silver, and all that stuff? It says there's 700 gold in here, 1,000 silver, and 20 precious stones. Five, uh, five each worth 200 gold, 400 gold, it, it, the like. You know, it just it, it just it just goes. It, it just, there's a lot of gold in here. Anyways, uh, how will we move things along? Um, what okay, you so I'm just adding. You got. You got so it. are we? Ta- so are, are we taking the gold or? It's trapped in the ice. So is the items. And I, a Shardalon stride, just kind of standing alongside the wall, pacing back and forth. And while I'm walking, I'm leaving a fire trail. Oh yeah, that kind of melts uh, as you do that. And so. What about heat metal? Would that work too? Like heating the gold. On the gold, yeah. Heat. On the gold, yeah. And silver, yes. You would have to be careful to heat the gold because gold's got a very low melting point and yeah. even before that it's got a very low malleability point. Meaning yeah. you would have to basically make it just barely toasty or the stuff would be almost useless by the time it came out. Yeah. Yeah. D- d- disregard heat metal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's one of the things people forget about melting points and heating points of uh, metals is that there's a malleability point where the metal can be it starts to bend and reshape. Mm. And like, uh, I'm, that's sure, a... I'm sure the gold would still be valuable, but a bunch of warped coins would raise eyebrows. Can Nestor help with like melt the ice a little bit with some fire with a fire bolt? Not a fire ball, but a bolt. B O L T. Uh, sure. I'll just do. Uh, I'll just uh, hang on. Let me just. Let's help see. I'm gonna see if we find little... some basics. Um, like basic stuff. Okay, so 700 gold, 500 silver, and what else again? There's. You see a few potions in there. Preserved by the cold, obviously. What's the, what, do, what kind of potions and how many? I'll say three potions. Um, uh, so, I think it'd be kind of funny if he had a potion of fire resistance in there. Because <laughs> he's weak to fire. Or something like that. I don't know, it'd be kind of funny if he, he had one of those. Uh, anyways, uh... So the are the are these all just health potions or no these are no it's so the thing about <sighs> calm down okay so um a lot of this stuff is just resistance potions all right however one of these things you probably might like it's a there's a f- potion of force resistance in there whoa that's interesting you don't see those very often yep. Potion of cold resistance, potion of fire resistance. I'm just giving you three resistances, you know. Okay, so we got a potion of fire, force, and cold resistance. Got yep. it. Those will be useful. And mm-hmm. you know the, the staff healing, the um, the boots of winter winter winds, and the coca rakanita. And that's it. Uh, plus, plus the gold, of course. But I think that's one more enough that you guys could gain more enough from this horde. Is that uh, fun? Yeah, and just so you know, Al, I'm adding that. I'm adding the all this stuff to basically the party loot. I've got my own little list here set up. Oh, really? I I should have just made this like the loot. Oh, my bad. Put, put that in here. Yeah. The loot journal is now accessible and editable. Edible. You, it, you all right. all, everyone's able to edit it now. Yep. All right. so just put that in the journal now. All right. Anyways, um, I'm gonna. That's all you really need to do here. If you want to just get out now, you can. Wait, can I have like Nestor do one thing first to like have them get out the flashy way? Because oh. they like need some way to get up the chute. Uh, Tinker is just going to click his rocket boots back on and just. Well, that uh, that saves me a little bit of the effort, though. Us uh, the effort as he just casts. Fly, 
at fourth level, so and like uses it on him and uh, Cliff. Cliff. Hmm? So to all right, this is gonna be a new experience for you. As he like holds his hand, it just like takes him up as they start to fly through the air and up the chute. Cliff is booking it. He he's he's got a giant shit eating grin on his face. <laughs> Whoa, 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 <laughs> oh, uh, you got, you're holding my arm, ah, stop, you're going too fast! <laughs> it's misspelled gaseous, someone said, it's, someone typed it as gashes? It's, no, it's, it's gaseous. Oh, yeah, gaseous. Why, oh, boy! I'll fix it. <laughs> Alright, thanks. <laughs> Imagine they come through the hole, Ezra's just sitting there, oh, took you long enough. Yes, everything was quite literally covered in ice. A significant amount of ice. Right. I mean, that would we make did, sense. We did found. A... We did found a wealth of many magical items, and of course, a wealth of go a wealth of precious metals inside these. And also, I got these new boots. And he just like shows off his boots, you know, just. Dude, bro, comes out, goes all sudden. A <laughs> oh, dang it! Uh, you know what? A uh, dang it! You missed a perfect opportunity to go. What are those? Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, did you hear what I said? I thought. Yeah, I we heard. Go... We heard you. Yeah. That was funny. Sorry, I'm in the middle of uh, getting the the. Thing. I just thought I heard everything cut out for a second. I don't know if it was me or my nah, mic. Nah, okay, or man. I feel you. All right, there we go. Loot Journal's been updated with, uh... All of Mattis were just undone. What the heck happened? My bad, I didn't know you were editing it. I was, and... I'm sorry, I didn't know. You didn't it's say. okay, it's yeah. okay. Okay, we okay, so we need to, to be sure to, to to know who's do messing with the yeah. Loot jur Journal, just so we know, know not to mess with it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm fixing it right now with the updated uh, grammar and the... Yeah, so how about we get you all back to the airship? Sound good? Yep. Yep. Alright, so... Y'all are back on the airship? Imagine in the meantime, like, while everyone else was doing that, that Jason was at least making small talk with the, uh... McCaff. With McCaff, yeah. She's downstairs, like, all the way downstairs in, the, in the, like, the workshop area. Yeah. She's kind of, like, just being to herself kind of stuff. Wait, where does it go? Right here. Uh, below deck. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, um... How am I gonna explain this? Uh... Rescue, how do I explain this for this next part? If you want, I could take over. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, there yeah, so, be. uh, what is, uh, what is everyone doing right now? Cliff is in the captain's quarters, just sort of practicing with with the cartographer tools. Tinker showed him how to how to work, make, use. Eh. Okay. So he's just trying to draw up a, ma a map of the surrounding e area. And if he, when he's done, he's likely going to just show it to Tinker, see see what he thinks about it. Nestor, because you know Ezra told him and stuff to his face that he was stealing scrolls and stuff, is starting to like. Lock some of the magic scrolls, you know, he found in the library. To <laughs> and especially since one of them did suggest the dude that lock in the box and he hid it under the what the bed and stuff. Just, you know, making sure. Sh and he's going to, like, is dude, anyone he's, he's gonna, like put something like on it. Like, basically, he's going to gonna set it up in a way that if anything is messed with, he'll know. If this any thing is out of place, he'll know someone's been in here and stolen something from this box. All right, we get it. Yeah. Okay. So what were we saying? Um, yeah, I need to know if anyone's currently above deck, whether it be on the, the second layer or the, uh, the first layer. Cliff technically is, considering he's in the captain's quarters. Jade's on. Um, just, Jade's just kind of like like looking around and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, so Jade, uh, roll passive perception. What's your passive perception? I have to roll passive perception. You yeah, said? just what's your passive perception? Thirteen. 
It's not really good. I'm, not, I'm back, by the way. I had to get interrupted suddenly. All yeah, right. Um. so night kind of, you know, we get up and, you know, it's starting to get to the little twilight hours, but Jade kind of notices something odd off in the horizon. Like, it looks like that there's, like, the sun setting and then there's just, like, an area of, like, pitch black almost. That's strange. Um, would would Jason hear her say that? Yeah, he he would he would perk up and get up to come take a look as well. What's it you got? There's an area not too far from here that's just pitch black, even though it's not dark yet. All right, so I have a question about this. Mm -hmm. uh, would I need to make any sort of checks, or is this something that, given Jason's uh, profession, he might be familiar with? That's on you your can't resume. readily tell. Okay. Um, That's curious as hell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I was like, I was look. I was looking at another. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. So, um, what was we should tell the others? That looks concerning. You can go spread the news. All right. You're the one who saw it. You can describe it the best. If I just say it's a wall of darkness, they're going to laugh at me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just move her over there. Okay, so... Would Cliff had heard a bit of this conversation? Yeah, chance? technically this is up, 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 up deck. If so the yeah, door is open or not. If the door yeah. is open. Is it open? I mean, the, I mean, I mean Cliff would have, have like the things. windows open yeah, and stuff. So you didn't, um, if I could. Um... Didn't we establish during one of the side episodes, during uh, bonus ducks specifically, that um, like this area here and this area like around here were all audible to each other? Like it was like within speaking distance of the others, well, cause... so long as there wasn't anything too noisy. Yeah, because they're kind of just the same thing. Yeah. So with that knowledge, Cliff would have been in earshot, and yes, Cliff would have heard that conversation. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it when if Jay is gonna come up to to the door, door he, she is going to see that the door is currently open and Cliff is actually looking in, in the direction that those two were talking about. Uh, yeah. Um, you can roll perception. Uh, not necessarily like a, for a check or anything. Just It's just more to see like what it is you're actually looking at. Right. Yeah, so other than it just being like pitch black nothing really like strikes out to you um you kind of see like the canopy of like trees poking out over the top of it but that's about it mm -hmm. have you just find it curious that it's pitch black in the middle of the day <laughs> same for jade um, oh, same thing with you jade um you find it very curious indeed huh. um, oh well it definitely is very curious i'm gonna tell the others go get ezra yeah, so um, Jay's going going down the stairs like, and maybe Tinker too. That's... You see, uh, when you come downstairs, Ezra's like pruning on his uh his little orchid. He's got a cup of tea to the side of him. He goes, "Something the matter? You look distressed." There's something in the horizon that's pitch black, and it's not fully dark yet, so it's kind of concerning. Pitch black. Get, he like sets his scissors down, puts his glasses on the table, and you see him like bolt up and like go up to the top deck. Wait, what's wrong? <laughs> okay, so okay, so uh, while Jade is going down there, Cliff is gonna go in back into the captain's quarters and see if he can find a spyglass or something. Uh, there would definitely be something like that in there, but you'd have to look yeah. for it. Yeah. So, um, so investigation check or I would say you have it. Um, it's a spyglass, spy likely glass. in the captain's quarter somewhere. Maybe even a telescope of some kind. Yeah. Probably a telescope. So Cliff is actually... Well, actually, hold on. There's one right there on the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Literally, that is a spot. That is a telescope. You have it right here. Mm hmm You have it right yeah. there. So then go ahead and roll perception at advantage. All right. Perception at advantage. So... Nice. 13. 13. Yeah. Uh, well, you still don't make better. out much. Ah, uh, make that an 18. <laughs> make <it> an 18. <laughs> All right, so this time you get a much better look. And what you see is 
what appears to be just swirling purple and black almost like it's magical darkness um you can't really see much past it though i have a question about this swirling uh purple and black just just for framing and reference would this be anywhere similar or close to the powers that Jason calls upon? Like, would, th would th does this look in any way familiar? Hmm. Given that, uh, that is a very that... poignant question, sir. Because uh... <laughs> <laughs> that is that is mildly to moderately concerning. Yeah, I mean, like, as far as you can also tell, it just looks like magical darkness. Oh, Jason, okay. how about you roll some roll reception? <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, roll me perception. I was sweating with, bullets with, adva with advantage if you jump, if you come up yeah, and join. Yeah, you go ahead and you go, let me take a look. Ah. You look. Suppose I'm so it out. looks like some kind of black cla cloud ma of magical darkness. 18, yeah, you, you get the same sort of idea. The best that you could ascertain is it's similar to what your brothers use sometimes uh, when they cast one of their Dark Vegas abilities. If I didn't know any better, and especially powerful Magus is out that way. If you don't know, he turns to the other two. Because he's, he's, he's like barged in. He has not given any damn uh, care in the world for <laughs> subtle Yeah, and, and, you did, and you would see that Cliff doesn't care either. Well, okay, anyways. So, he's he mentions this briefly that Dark... I mean, I'm not going to go through the whole spiel because lore dumping doesn't seem fair right now. Just in brief... They're split into three categories. There are the Black Bloods, which he belongs to. Typically, they are the the bulwarks. Um, you've got the Abyss Knights, who risk their very being just to har just to harm something a little more. And then this one, the Magus. The Magus are spellcasters, and he points. He's going to point out that this feels like it, this looks like one that would have been either especially powerful. Something has gone wrong. Or, this is something that, this is something that's close enough to it to give off the appearance. So, and each possibility he's listing, he's growing more and more concerned, visibly. Does uh, Ezra... Um... Yeah, so Ezra looks in, um, and while he personally can't discern anything other than what was said just now to him... He does note that there is a large tree poking over the canopy of this. There is, in fact, a tree there. Uh, he looks at the other two there. I do wonder, though. What do you got? I had always heard stories that when a dragon disappears from an area, the fabric of magic starts to fold in on itself. Being as it as we are, we may want to even go check this out just to be safe to report this back to the council. That way, paladins and clerics and soldiers can try to cordon the area off at least by time for the dragon to return home from its banishment. Mm-hmm. All right. Can I make an Arcana check real quick, just about the information presented there? Uh, sure. I don't see why not. Okay. As Jason's gonna pluck his brain and see if he's got anything to add. Probably not. From what from what little he's contacted to his cousins that also wield this kind of power, he's only known one Magus in his life. <laughs> I was hoping for that. <laughs> hey, Absolutely, wait. positively, you scratch your head and you think, wait. Could this be my dad? <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm pl I'm plopping that grudge point down. You're you're taking you're, you're you're not taking it. You're just you're just you're, you're using. No, it. I think he's taking it. Taking the grudge point. Yeah, you're, I'm taking the grudge point. You're taking the grudge point. Jason has absolutely fucking nothing to add. He feels that what <laughs> Ezra has said is pretty on the money, but he doesn't know because he he doesn't deal with this this fanciful spell casting shit. Ezra points to Jason and he looks at him and he says. Go get Jade, go get Nesta, go get Tinker. Okay? He's already gone. He's he like as soon as he's been given that order, he's already moving in. He practically kicks open the hatch into into the next floor. It's just the staircase. Or rather, okay, so he comes he comes plodding down. 
<laughs> quite loud, and he's gonna holler out, "Jade, Nestor, topside now!" Wait, what's wrong? What's wrong? Ezra needs you. Don't know the specifics. Just get up there. Uh, okay. With that, he continues plodding down the stairs, gives that unceremonious beating to the door, and relays the same message to Tinker, that Ezra needs them. Get up to the upper deck, captain's quarters. He ne that he's needed. Can't explain much else. Hmm. I'll be up in a moment. With that, he returns up to the quarters. Oops. And of course, takes his perch in a, f a further spot from the others, just sort of lingering, doing. Well, they're they're all kind of like yeah, in the yeah. the captain's quarters, kind of chilling. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say this: Cliff is going to keep and is trying to is just so you hold every so often he. He's going to be looking into the spyglass and looking over his shoulder, just keeping it up with the conversation at hand, but also keeping an eye on whatever this is. Ezra kind of looks as Tinker walks in. He goes, I have a question for you. Yes, Ezra, what might it be? In your experience in your lifetime, have you ever heard the stories about dragons folding the weave? On more than one occasion, yes. Considering what has happened, and he gestures for him to go join Cliff to look out. And as Cl he walks up to to Cliff, he Cliff is going to hold a spyglass out to him. Would you consider that the weave folding in on itself? I think he's going to take a look through the spyglass. Perception with advantage. Fifteen. Do I need to make that a twenty, or is that good enough? That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, uh, you look in, you see the same thing that may have been in a textbook at one point for you. Um, you don't exactly remember where you read it, but this sounds a lot like the accounts. Tinker's going to stand up. Because he's leaning over to look into it. He's going to stand straight back up. Ah, by all accounts of everything that I know, I would say that we don't have very much longer on this plane. That is definitely concerning, not just as a mortal being for you all, but as my profession. Can I roll an Arcana check to see how much Nestor knows about this, about the weave and whatnot, about and what about the whole the void thing, the black and purple? I think he yeah. would get advantage because um, like he was part of the cult of the dragon for one, one, at one point. Yeah, you're the DM. Uh, advantage on Arcana, yeah, go for it. Mm. Never mind. 24, <laughs> 24 both ways. Um, 24 either oh, way. You know, yeah. you know, so, you kind of shudder to think what's actually happening because you recall a story of your mother actually telling you when a dragon is slain, the weave folds in on itself around the area and it causes death and destruction to all most living things there. It's only the undead that they, that is created that would even survive this because they're no longer connected to magic. Mm, this is bad. This is bad. That we definitely don't want to go near that, but on the other hand, and I have no... My mother didn't told, didn't told me it was stories of, about this, about what happens when the dragon is slain. Dragons are powerful creatures, creatures of great magic. Some even have gifted and taught magic to most people people if uh, and that's why the weave acts the way it does and but, but, but uh, she didn't tell me how exactly to fix it which is wording and the only thing that could survive it is undead so i seek before, before whether or not you all want to join i do not care i have to go down there and do my job tinker can you steer the ship there please um i said to think for what's uh, for better course of action ezra if you do, my, don't mind me today stating my opinion, is we try to warn people, any nearby civilians, and try to get them away from that, could uh, 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 all 
of a void, it is pro pro uh, might uh, you know reseal itself eventually. We must at least like save as many nearby citizens as we can and whatnot, like the sick villagers. Ezra puts his hand up, and he just looks at you and he goes. Unfortunately, while that is all a great and good thing to do, Nestor, I still have a job to do. Uh, what, what's go what does this have to do with your job? There's a disturbance in the time stream. The Wii folding in on itself means the end for the Prime Material. I need to figure out what's going on so I can report it. And he goes up topside and goes to Tinker. Did he say the prime material? Oh god, you said the prime material. Oh, oh, oh no. What did I rope myself into? <laughs> uh, perhaps land the ship a few paces out. Whether or not you guys want to come down there for safety reasons is not my concern. I just need to go and investigate. Oh, yeah, Tinker will land the ship and follow Ezra just haphazardly. <laughs> Alright. Well, I suppose... <laughs> Well, suppose if you're going to guys going to go, you might need my assistance, especially Jason, the fact no. that I, I, I'm pro probably more willing to survive with you all. Jason's gonna wave a hand at the very least. Just take me with. Do I have you two coming as well? He motions to Cliff and Jade. Yes, I I'll come uh, along. I'd so be surprised. I wouldn't be myself if I didn't. All right. Alright, I'm moving you there. <clears throat> oh no. So, we land about 100, you know, 100 feet out. Tinker did a good job parking the ship in Shut a way like that oh, it sorry. wasn't going to get it stuck inside of anything. Um, we all get there, and it just it feels cold. Well, we have Not like cold in a way that you would expect um, temperature wise you know, nighttime to feel more like an eerie cold like you're not supposed to be here alright so Jason takes a sharp shaky breath in and lowers his head for a moment he mutters to himself a quiet prayer before un unlatching his sword and Bracing himself for what may come. So, uh, Rescue, you want to describe this now, or should I can take over? There's one last thing. We walk into the center of this area and find this tree that has been mangled and stripped of all leaves, and the dead corpse of a white dragon would look to have been impaled through the head. Oh. Makes sense. I'll then explain later. In front of it sits a single, dark-clad creature. Oh, let me just get that real quick. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm gonna get the, um... I need to get the token for the, the, the dragon guy. Alright, while you do that, I'm gonna get me, me a drink. Real quick. Go for it. Alright, so... Darn it. So is there a token for this? No, it's not. Oh, it's not going to let me. I have to make one. Yeah, it's, there's no token. Okay, um... I gotta make... I gotta have one. Darn it. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so... Darn it. Uh, I'll find one. That's in here. I have it somewhere. It must be in, in you know, the NPCs or something like that. Creatures and monsters. That's not it. I might as well just save the theater and mining kind of thing. I mean, that's probably like the best I, I, thing I can do here. No, wait, I think I found it. I think I found it. Yeah. No. Because it, it did have one yesterday. Yeah. Unless it somehow got deleted and we have to start the entire thing from scratch, which... No, that, that can't be right. Yeah, no. I hope not. <laughs> Is it alright if I use a like, uh, um, different token for it? Alright, I'm um, back. It's a placeholder, yeah. Oh, Is we it... just lost somebody. We just lost uh, Brodier. 
Where, 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 where'd he go? I don't know. Dinker! I think, up. I think he had to step up. Why? He didn't say anything. Nah, it's fine. Uh, Might have had to leave on an emergency. Yep. Uh, yeah, wants, oh, his mother wants him to come out and help him with something. Darn it. Okay, so... We could we could use this time to prepare if we want to pause recording and pick up later. No, no, no. Uh, we're, we're still going with this. This allows you to get a token made for it. Yeah. Real yeah. quick. Real quick. Yeah, right, he, he, he says he would have been standing well out of the way just observing the area. Which and take, and taking notes. I'm gonna... I'm gonna let my dog out real quick while this is going on. So yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go take a quick pee. Alright, now so. just pause recording then. Hey. Now recording again. Okay. Okay, cool. So... I should be able to drop that on there, yeah? Okay, cool. Awesome. So, in the distance... Thing, no, 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 no. I had, I had it on there already. It was just on GMware. Oh, you did? Gotcha. Heard. Alright, so... In the distance, ah. you see a hulking monstrosity. If you thought Cliff was tall, this thing stands a solid f chest over it. I got Bamians too. Oh, the damn. air seems to swirl around this creature, and the darkness seems to seep from it. Ezra steps forward, almost like he knows what this thing is. And he says, I wonder how an incinerator got out. Uh, fucking Jason. what? Does <laughs> Jason recognize this thing at all? No. Maybe not immediately. And he looks to Nestor and he goes, an incinerator. Um, it's, uh... Things we use, well, lore keepers use to monitor timelines. Um, it's definitely hard to describe more so than it is rather to show you, but it almost looks like this thing is here. But why is Aranthor dead? Why would your own league have killed this thing? I don't know, it wouldn't make no sense to me either. But can I make an arcana check? Yes, you may. To sort of feel out the vibes this thing is putting out? Sure. Oh, the music's gone. Yeah, because it went into more hype. Uh, more... Alright, so I look, I'm looking at what the photo guys pick, and it is straight up the Valhazak armor for, for Monster Hunter World. That's not what it is. That's that's not what it is, but... It looks like it, though. So, so with, with a 19... Jason, with Jason's experience in all the stuff he's done up to this point, what can he tell about this thing? So with a 19, you kind of freeze in place as some darkness starts to swirl around you. And it almost feels familiar. <coughs> Ezra steps forward closer towards it, kind of musing on about how these things are... Relentless killers and hunters of those that violate the timeline. <laughs> what? It's inert. No, it's not! That it thing is. has a fucking... He pauses. He can't even describe this feeling. It's... Relax. Everything is fine. It's... So before... He looks at it. Before he... everything starts, can I take a... Can I take an... Can I take a... Uh, a moment to trigger dark side. Uh, uh, or what, don't what see why not. Work? Initiative hasn't been rolled. Okay, so <clears throat> go right ahead. Uh, you I am over. going. I am going to hold an action <clears throat> for my um for my Azure enemy. I can, I don't know how to put the, the ambience back to where it was. I just have to like. There we go. Okay, I just have to undo the repeat yeah. part. <clears throat> there we go. I'll just have to. Like... Ezra kind of points down to the dark side with his left arm and he goes, No, look! Usually these things are ignited with a gaseous red fire. This thing has been out for at least hours now. You smell, you could even smell the solders. It's I mean... not smolders. Ezra, you need to get back now! Jason's taking steps forward now. Cliff and Cliff is coming with with you. Ezra, what are you also you... worried about? 
I'm and I'm also Jason's going to going, Jason's putting uh, his blade out. He's trying to get Cliff back too. Whatever this thing is, it's 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 not it's not good. No, it's not. You are right. Ah, oh, darn! I can't get this right. I'm also going to activate my divine sense. Uh -huh. Do, what does this ping that any? Definitely. No, really? actually, no. Really? it is not undead, and it is not a fiend. Huh. As far as you can tell, this creature holds and harbors no evil malice. Huh. So th is this considered a celestial or what? Not even a celestial. <laughs> May I drop close. a nugget as well? Given this sense? Because uh, we, we mentioned before that Cliff sensed something from, from Jason. Like it was very are we going to do the thing we talked right? about, Rescue, or...? Yes. I, I'm... Yes. Let me get there. Right. I, I want to let them poke at it for a little bit. Okay. Because remember how when he did a divine sense and it was a very, very faint, like, almost unnoticeable thing on Jason? Like, it was a very, very tiny no, I tinge. Can't, I, can't, I just cannot get the... Also, I think you grabbed the wrong MP3 for that. I uh, think I did, yeah. Yeah. Is you, you grabbed you grabbed the one that, that cuts halfway through. You didn't. Yeah, I, I wanted to keep the whole thing. Darn thing. Yeah. It's okay. I'll just but yeah, no. Um, would that same feeling linger, or is this thing entirely different still? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna find a, a, a good song for this. I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do something. So instead, Cliff, instead mm -hmm. of it pinging you as divine or hellish, you just feel a swath of hatred coming from this thing. So I can't just tell raw what? emotion. just hatred it utters one word in your head vengeance roll um, for initiative we're not gonna do that yeah. thing something cliff was actually very familiar with <laughs> however the creature will move first and make an attack on ezra oh, no. this is a surprise attack okay it is going to take one great sword and one plunge. Not one, the last one, but it is a surprise attack. <clears throat> That's right, it's a surprise attack. So they Should, shouldn't uh, shouldn't uh, Silver be the one making those rolls? I mean, no, we talked about it. Don't worry. Yeah, okay, no, it's all right. This okay, is all... so uh, yeah, so all right. rescue is the one one running this this camp yeah. this uh, side this camp. particular monster. Yes, this particular right. monster. Yeah, we talked about it. We brought it together. You don't worry about it. Alrighty. So it hits Ezra. It ignites to life after you hear the word vengeance ignite in your ears. Its great sword flies to its hand and severs the arm pointing at it from Ezra's body. He just falls over cold. Ezra's arm, by the way, not its yes. arm. It stands and points its blade at the rest of you. And it utters one word. Vengeance. Roll for initiative. Okay. I rolled an eight, and uh, Jason rolled an eighteen. Nestor. Oh, well, again, I, sorry. I did you click your tokens or? Yeah, I clicked my token, and I rolled an eighteen. Right. It does. It does give like the plus to uh, to, to to initiative. It gives like the bonus, like where it gives. It All goes right, so to the intel. So roll the first time. Step, eight. Right. I I rolled an eight the first time. Yeah. You need to add your bonus to initiative, just so you know. So you would actually be rolling uh, a 12 here. Yeah. So Nestor's got a 12. Yep. Yes. And then Jade. Just a second. Yeah, as, as soon as that arm is severed, he, like, Jason lets out, like, just a guttural, fearful cry. Like, it's not like he's afraid, but it's more of like... Ooh, Jade got 17. It's it's done it now. Whatever this thing is, it is it has pissed Jason off Be. I, I, I'm gonna take Tinker out of this because, like, uh, yeah, he's not he's not here, and he should have been. This this would definitely be something he wouldn't just be sitting back and taking notes on. Yeah, he would definitely not do that. Uh, let's, I'll roll for the thing. Go for it. Uh, <clears throat> do you have the? Uh, it's got a fourteen. Do you have the the thing I I linked you from before? Or? The what? The the thing I linked you from before the the music that I that was. Oh no no I I I know what you wanted me to get. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, so, let's see, is that everyone? No, wait, uh... Yes. Is it? Ezra Jason? is unconscious. 
Oh yeah, he is unconscious. Jeez. All he right, has just lost a fucking arm. All right, there's your music that you wanted. Oh shit! So, so top of the round, Jason, Jason go for it. Right. So Jason ignited in his own malice, which. This thing, this thing feels like a Dark Knight. It looks like a Dark Knight. He's going to fight it like a fucking Dark Knight. Sounds good. Hit me. What you got? <laughs> Hold on, mom just texted me. Uh, <laughs> that just figures, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, like every time I'm getting in the middle of this shit, she does this. I know. It's like she, she has. My, she's making sure my dog isn't pants. Like so okay. So, bonus action. Curse of the Abyss to this thing. Okay. Jason is giving no fucking quarter. Mm. He Absolutely. makes a headlong charge towards this thing. And he immediately starts swinging for the fucking fences. It it hurt Ezra. The, it's hurting him. It, just, it cut his arm off. Yeah, no. And that, that accounts for hurt. Any level of harm to Ezra would have earned his ire, but this has earned straight up wrath. Yeah. That one. It's a nat one. I'm gonna use my grudge point and reroll that. Alright. Fifteen, that misses. Fifteen, okay. That misses. Do their blades clash or is this thing outright moving All away? All you see is its arm just bat back away the blade. And in your head you just hear it utter vengeance. So in, else? in that in that shrill cry, I'm making the second swing. Or in that shrill cry, Jason's making the second swing. You want vengeance? Live the love of your life. Everything you knew. Be exiled. Seventeen. Does seventeen hit? Yes. So seventeen does hit. Rolling for damage. Oh. Thirty-two. Nice. So yeah. does it lose everything in life? Be cast out. Kicked. Beat. You land a clean hit. But the sword kind of drags against the metal. And when you finish your follow through, all you hear it utter is Myrna. That would probably make him feel something. Oh, yeah, no, he just completely fucking stops mid swing. So, th it, 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 so it's, it's, all, it's all the damage, not nothing reduced? Yeah, 32 is fine. 32 is fine. The 32 goes through. Jason's fucking trembling. Oh boy. <laughs> if, this, if this were Deadlands, he'd have taken Shaken. <laughs> Is that your turn, Jason? That's his turn. Jade's going Jade. up. Uh, it's a good thing uh, I'm here as, as Jade, because, like, <laughs> you're going to need a healing. <laughs> you're doing fine. Uh, for the sake of things, Ezra is unconscious, but on death saves. Oh boy. So, I'm... 1 HP to stabilize him. Uh, I don't have Spirit Dying, so I'm just going to. I'm just going to. Cast me asking word, or just doing word. Yeah, healing word. One HP will stabilize him. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna just cast the regular healing word. I got you, Ezra. She says, nine healing. Cool. Sounds good. He's stabilized. You see, hey. like the wound on his hand kind of like suture up a little bit. The bleeding has stopped significantly, but you're not sure you're gonna able to put, you know, his hand back on essentially. Yeah, I me. Mean, it's basically a stump now. All right. Does Jade do anything else? Oh, definitely. Uh, she's gonna start dancing, and you can bet she knows what she's gonna do. <laughs> oh, that, just dance for dear life is what she's gonna do. <laughs> first things first, she's gonna move up a little bit. Let's okay. See. Uh. Th right here, I think. Gotcha. Sorry, Nestor. I, I, I'm, I'm giving these to, to these two. They kind of need them. I'll start them up the front. Dance the mountain. <clears throat> Plus two AC. All right. <clears throat> awesome. That also counts for. Uh, wait, I don't think. Wait, does he get it? Ezra. No, no, uh, he doesn't. Ezra would not get it. He not get it. No. Hey, but that's that, that's still good. So, uh, Jade has an 18 AC right now, and everyone else, everyone else has their plus two, and that's it. It's a concentration, by the way. So if she gets hit, that she has to roll a con save. Alright. Oh no. Its turn comes up. So and when it you... just narrows its gaze on Jason. 
and it ignites in a hellish green fire. <laughs> it takes nine damage and uses its broken heart feature. What's this do? It's going to deal an additional 1d10 on all of its attacks while it's burning. Oh. And while it burns, it takes nine necrotic damage at the start of each round. So this thing is dead hurting itself? Correct. Okay. I, I, I reduced it. I think. Okay, so we're doing this? Yeah. So you want me to attack or you want to do it? I I will do it. I will okay. do it. Just for this one. Yeah. For just for this. Just for this. I just want you, I just want you to see how it should go. Play. Okay. Yeah. So it is going to make one plunge attack on Jason. Does a twenty four hit you? A twenty four definitely fucking hits. So I need you to make an eighteen strength save, or you take an additional ten necrotic damage at the end of your, or at the start of each of your turns. Oh no! So at least you got a grudge point. Grudge point, yeah, but you shouldn't have spent the last one. But here, here we are. Okay, so you got a grudge point. So it swings its great sword back, and you feel it leap into the air in front of you. It comes down and it pins your left shoulder down under its blade, and it utters one more word to you: pay. And then it strikes you with an unarmed strike. So how much damage did I take from that first one? Twenty-five. So twenty-five. Twenty-five damage. Did you not roll for the damage, or? No, it does twenty-five. Base Part damage. 25. Yep. Solid. Solid. Yeah, just solid twenty-five. Wow. Mm. Uh, it's a good thing I got, you got healer here. Does Me. a seven hit you? No. Seven does not. All right. It's probably pounding like fruitlessly on his mail. Yeah. That is its turn. Doesn't it have like one more attack? It has two melees or one plunge and an arm. Oh, that's yep. sir, you're up. Okay, so. You just saw Ezra's arm got cut off, and he's on the ground. What, what do you, and Jason is now impaled into this thing's fucking sword. What is your reaction to this? Yeah, unfortunately, oh, oh, I don't got any healing spells, but I think I have something. Okay, question. Out of character. Okay, so do, do we still have... Is Has it been 24 hours since we collected the blood from those tr ice trolls? Correct. It, it's not been that yet. It has not. <laughs> that was at the start of this day. Okay, I'm afraid I don't have anything to do for healing, but I can give us some backup, although you're probably gonna not some of you might not be liking this as he does cast. He cut, he cut, I know he's casting, but what just click it. Oh yes. Summon greater demon. Okay, so Nestor, when you cast this, you're gonna see see Cliff, Cliff just like, oh, so you can do that too, huh? His mother taught him. <laughs> Jason underneath well, the blade I, fights back. Now I, the fucking time. Hey, I remember. Look, she taught me a lot of things. Might as well not use them to go to waste. Oh. uh also forgot this. This guy's, and I'm gonna summon this guy right here. Do you want me to make Add it? Add an eight onto your damage, by the way, please. Oh, I take an extra eight. Yeah. yeah okay. What do you want me to summon? A rock or a bone devil? Uh, rock. Uh, let's go with rock since we haven't seen one yet, and because, you know, we the rock statue would be fitting. You have rock here. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, it, yeah, it's just like it's like just like the, from the module. I still have it left. <laughs> I mean, not the module, the, the side thing. So, actually, on your turn, right? I believe so. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, so I'll, I'll oh, no, you roll initiative for the demon, which has its own turns. Right. That's right. Yeah. Own, own turn. It's got it got nineteen. Wow. It got a nineteen. So it's Nestor's turn, but I'm just gonna rearrange this, you know. 
Nestor, 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 Nestor. There we go. <coughs> All right, so hey, that's that's a pretty good turn right there. Mm -hmm. Is Quiff. that end your turn, Nestor? Well, I don't know what I could do for a bonus action. Cantrips are always nice. You don't have this up. Actions. Actions. Depending yeah. on if it's a bonus oh, action yeah. or not. Mm. All right. All right. So that's his turn, I think. He's gonna use one of his legendary actions to condemn Cliff. Oh boy. The fuck does that do? So it treats you as a Dark Knight or a Lore Keeper in its eyes. Uh. It's gonna treat you as a Dark Knight. Against I mean, it, it now has advantage on saving throws against you and a plus two to hit you. Oh boy. Fucking hell. I see. Cliff, it's your turn. It's your turn, All right. Cliff. So, seeing e Ezra on the ground and seeing this th thing right now, I'm coming back. He's going to look at this thing. And he's, uh, I'm coming after you later. And he's going to run up, grab Ezra, Using mobile, I'm gonna beeline it out of the, there to right about here with him. Sure. And again, mobile, I do not trigger t attacks of opportunity. That's fine. You rest. That's in... that's just yeah. my now. That's just my action to Good grab movement. Ezra and pick him up with his arm. Yep. And, and just my and me using my movement alone. Yes. So where do you where do you set Ezra? Do you set it against the tree or what? I'm going. I'm basically trying. Okay, so I want Ezra to be right about here with me. Okay. Try, uh, I want keep... just for safety's sake. He's like rested up against the branch of yeah. the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Like the the bark, the, the like right. column of it. And well, now, uh, all right. So okay, I'm. I first, I want to try my, my lay on hands to he, to patch up a bit more. I did heal him a little bit. But... Yeah, he. Yeah, Ezra is stable. He's no longer yeah. dying. All right. In, in that case, um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, you we still, still have an attack action, and you still have your bonus action. And because it's cool, your main action. All right. I'm gonna let you do all of that as a part of your movement. All right. So let's see here. Uh, uh, I that 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 dark that condemn threw me for a loop. I had something planned, but then you can still yeah. try it. It just has advantage on saving throws. All right. In that case, first up, vow of enmity. What does it do again? Bo. Base, this thing has advantage on me now. I now have have advantage on it. Sounds good. Ten feet if it wants to though. play, if it wants to play that game, rolls. I'll play that game. This is what has advantage on attack rolls. This thing has advantage on saving throws and attack rolls. So it's just says it's within ten feet of you. You're within fifteen of it, feet. Of oh, okay, okay. That's fine. Just take a step forward. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know you so, have enough movement for that. But bef okay, so before I go, I move away though. Hmm. I'm going to. Use that in that bag of holding. We have a few health potions. I'm going to give Ezra one of them. That'd be swift action, right? Yeah. Allow it. So I will ask th this before I do: Is Ezra conscious? Ezra no. is unconscious, but stable. Just looking at him, you can tell he is no longer dying, but he is not here. He's mentally like he's not firing. He's not awake. Can I do anything to try and wake him up? You could try. I love how that rescue's going on and Jason is actively pinned to its fucking sword. Yeah, Pretty exactly. Get rocked. Yeah, exactly. I wonder. All right, so should I roll like a medicine check or? Uh, yeah. Uh, target number fifteen. Medicine fifteen. Nope. Six. Damn it. Too All bad right, Tinker's you can't not here. Do anything this turn. All right. All right, and that. In that case, yeah, I'm gonna go up. So, Jay, keep an eye on him. Gotcha. So, da 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 da. Right here. Actually, yep. no, wait. no, 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 not, not there, not there. That's where that dragon is. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to position, figure out a position that would give us. Protect both. I, I, I can just move him a little bit over here. Yeah, the dragon's just like 
Um, imagine it being like slumped over the ridge line. Yeah, I bet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have him move right right here. Here and uh Okay. And now I'm going how many so I've used my my bonus action for Valve Emity. My movement I'll say you have one attack action. Just right. from the action to try and make a check against Ezra to try right. and in that can, case, get him awake. I'm in, I'm going to so can, could I use uh, cast a spell still? Hey, you have your full action. That can let you have your full action. Yep. Yeah. All right. So fifteen. Er, I have so advantage. I have advantage. That's a twenty. On, time out. That would be your full action. Do you still want to cast a spell? I I'm I'm pouring my divine smite into it. So yes. Her. So twenty to hit. Does mm -hmm. hit. Roll me damage. Eighteen. Yeah. All right. All right, so, sorry that took me so long. No, you're fine. Right. So, it's a lance, yes? Yes. How much damage does it do? Does it have any resistances? It's good. Full 18. Full 18. Okay, gotcha. Wait, right. So, Cliff, like, puts the lance into its back. And it lets out a guttural sort of roar here as the smite comes down into it. So, Does how? That end the cliff turn. Boss. Just wait on him. Where'd he go? I think he got called away for a second. Well. I imagine that would be the end of his turn. Yeah, it's taking all of his actions. So? Hey, sorry about that, guys. That, what, what's going on? Uh, I'm asking if that's the end of your turn. Uh, yeah, that's the end of my turn. Sorry about that. The rock his turn. It's actually not. What? At the end of Cliff's turn, it's going to use its last two legendary actions to use Emotional Torrent. Oh, boy. So, oh, no. I need <clears throat> Cliff and Jason to make a DC 16 wisdom save. Well, they'll take 17 necrotic damage. If you fail it, you also go prone. Well, if Jason failed it, he's taking 17 necrotic to go prone. You're already 21. restrained. You are good. You'll take eight and a half. So you'll take eight. Me or? Yep. Uh, Cliff. Now, does this thing also get its bonus damage? No. Okay. It may now also choose to take up to half of its movement. Which it will not. Huh. Alright, so the rock. Start of Rock's turn. turn. So what do you think I should do as a rock? Well, Nestor summoned it. Nest so Nestor maybe you want he gets the idea for it? Esther, you want, what do you want to do? It's got two attacks, one of, the, one of its talents, it's also got some spores, and it's got a once a day thing called Sorting Screech. Yeah, Sir J, buddy, he's still there. Uh, still there, what does it have? It's It's got, um. It's, it's got, okay, I'll, I'll list the, the abilities real quick. I'm gonna send him the stat block into the VC text chat just so he has a. Right. This is everything your Brock can do in VC text. <clears throat> and stunning screech. Let's start with that. Okay, so once per day you're gonna use a stunning screech on it. So it's just gonna use it on everybody or just or just it? So, the Vrock emits a horrific screech. Each creature within 20 feet of it that can hear it and isn't a demon must succeed in a command DC 14 it. con. He's gonna command it to step back a bit first before doing so. Just outside, and so it's only in that 20 foot range? Yes. Gotcha. Alright then, so... so back here, just... and then, yes. Right. So, so right so here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that way the, the creature's only inside of it. Alright, yeah. Wait, wouldn't that trigger an attack of opportunity? 
I don't think it was close so enough. So here's the thing. When it used its plunge attack, its plunged sword is still in Jason's shoulder. <laughs> oh. It cannot take a weapon attack while it's plunged. It can still do, do a hand-to-hand. -hand. It could. But it's more focused on Jason right now. Alright. So it's not going to do anything. Mm -hmm. So, the Strange Screech thing. It fails. Does it want to fail? However, it has advantage. Nope. And however, it also doesn't have a legendary resistance. It does or doesn't? Just, it does not. Oh boy, yeah, that... that it that... does, however, resist the paralyzed effect. Oh boy. It literally just looks at the rock, its head turns slowly before it goes back, and then it just looks down at Jason. With glaring daggers right back at it. <laughs> Jason, if that's all the rock can do, it's your turn. Alright, so you need to pass a save or it does necrotic damage to me, right? No, it will do this. Uh, it does the 10 necrotic damage at the start of each of this turn. So it'll do the 10 at the start of its turn. Alright, so Jason. I need you to make oh, either your full action to remove it. Or. That's it. Your full action to remove it. Alright, he's taking his full action to remove the blade from him. Yeah, he grabs so... it, both hands, even probably digging into the blade a little bit, but it's clear that he, he's, he's, he'd much rather have this blade out of his fucking shoulder than be sit here and impaled and scream and shout. Fair enough. So with all of his might, he is going to push this thing out of it, out of his shoulder. Sure, it, uh, it resists a little at first before you manage to overpower it. Half movement for the turn. You have one attack action and a bonus action. So, panting after pulling that thing out of his fucking shoulder, Jason hefts his blade for his only thing he really can do right now, which is to swing at this thing and hope he cleaves it. Mm. And while he's swinging, he's going to shout out, Know her name! What did you say? How does He's, he know? How does it know her name? That, a, well, that does not hit, I know for a fact. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have used the Forever Mastery or whatever it's called. No, it doesn't matter. It's, it's just, he's, he's, I am at, I want to chalk it up to he is an emotional wreck right now. Yeah. His dark side is probably only held up by his fear mania right now. So, Jason, you heft the sword over your head, and it just effortlessly catches it in one hand. Oh. In a moment of silence, just hits everyone. And it just utters, you. Just you? Okay. Just you. The word you. Jason, do you have anything else you want to do? Bonus action, the Blackest Knight. Um, okay. I'm going to pop that on myself. going to roll the hit dice, the 1 to 10. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add that as 10 HP. Sure. That's 5. Plus, plus your charisma. That's 10. Sounds good. 10 type HP. HP. Cool. Up. That's it? Yep. Jade. Jade. He surrounds himself with that, like, that magic barrier. And he's just still grit teeth. Yeah, um, <laughs> Jade's wondering if she should do something else instead. So, I have a spell that might work against it, but I'd have to drop the dance. Mm. How do you guys respond? Do we want to, the question is, do we, okay, so Freeze, do you want to lo lose the bonus to AC? At this point, I don't think Jason's even paying attention. He's still locked in that like blade to hand thing with the this thing. So his input would be nothing either way. Above board doesn't matter to me either way either. 
it right. seems to be making hits big enough to get through Jason's AC either way. So. All right. Well, I got wait an idea to at the very least you can get but get a little bit of a bonus. So. Oh no, he's he's got he's got TV and he's fine. Yeah. Right, so. Burning hit dice to throw temp HP on himself. Again, again uh, this is it's a, it's a spell that she has. It's above <laughs> board, it's slow. Oh. She, like, the s slow the spell, the or...? The spell, yes. She has it. Okay. Yeah, do that. What did Squiff say? Do it! No, she didn't say it was slow, though, so, like... So, uh, like, what's his opinion? The fact, like, he has to drop the... the, the she has to drop the, the dance in order to do a spell that he... She didn't say what it was. What's his response? Does he still just say do it? Yeah, cause cause he he's got a he. I still have like shield of faith and and um haste, so I can give myself at the very least give myself or a or a freeze the, the that pl plus two AC we we can still get. All right. So what is to say? Yeah, just go ahead and do it. All right. She drops the dance and then like um, immediately cast slow. On the dark side. Yeah, don't get the nomenclature confused. This creature is. It fails. Mm -hmm. This creature is. Takes a two penalty to its AC. Minus two turns AC. And dexterity saving throws, and it can't use its reaction. Yeah. Just, just for above board reference, don't get the nomenclatures confused. The aspects, the dark side that Jason's using, and this thing. When they're referred to differently, it's gonna be just Jason's dark side and then the dark side. Yeah, that's what I said. These, I said the dark side. Yeah, I just wanted to clear that up in case anybody was. Confused. So this might make this my thing's a little bit better <laughs> for you guys. So yep. Jay just cast slow on this thing, and f for good luck, she throws a bark expression over to Jason. And that's your turn. It's going to take a great sword swipe with one of its legendary actions. Oh boy. There's a 24 hitch, Jason. Yes. Take 13. Take 13. And then take, take an additional... 5. There goes his barrier. He takes... That's 3 plus 5. He's taking 11 damage. Real quick, does Jason recognize its form or lack thereof at all? Is anything no. seeming familiar at all about this thing, or is it just this hulking, menacing figure? It is a hulking, menacing figure. You cannot discern it yet. Yeah. Well, after, however, after getting cleaved, he's gonna just down. What are you? It doesn't respond. <laughs> however, what it does do. Let's make another plunge attack against Cliff. Oh shit. It leaps up into the air and it drives the blade down into your uh, the shoulder of your human half. Pain <laughs> you and the horse half under its boot. It's gonna have 25, and I need you to make a DC 18 strength save. Oh jeez. Twenty-five. Nice. Sounds so, good. I, okay, so you do I... resist it. Uh, you don't take the necrotic damage at the start of each of your turns. It still does pin you down, however. Okay, so what was the initial damage I took? Twenty-five. Hmm. Jeez. Yeah, this thing hits hard. Yeah. Right. Jeez. Mm -hmm. However, you guys can now hit it more frequently, and it only gets one attack. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Jade. Yep. <laughs> as long uh, as she stays back. Yeah, as long as she stays back. Jeez. <laughs> what what round are we trailing on? Uh, what rounds? Yeah, what round of combat? I feel third. Okay, good. I've got one more. I've got one more turn of dark side. All right. Mm. Is that all I can do? 
Yeah, all of its legendary actions have come back to you, by the way. Nestor. Nestor. Alright. Well, it's that out of the way. He's looking at the creature. Like, there's something. He's like, okay, okay, let's see. Let's see what I can do. What can I do? What can I do? Fireball would not be a good answer here. Uh, Nestor. Roll yeah. me um, a d20 with wisdom on it. Oh. Uh, d20 plus. Uh, wisdom. Your wisdom modifier. One. Seventeen. So plus one. Eighteen. Yeah. Eighteen. Um, you feel its gaze kind of turn to you, and you hear one word uttered to you: repentance. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! <laughs> my head! Get out of my head! Get out of my head! She's gonna now. Just cast no stuff. effects have been done to Nestor. Whatever happens after this is Nestor. And he's gonna cast a psychic lance on it because it worked well last time. Elephant psychic lance. That's a good move. Mm -hmm. So intelligence save. All right, yeah. It saves it. However, he uses Ralatham Psychic Lance, telling it to get out of its head. It hits, and it just flings against the metal of the shoulder. No, it doesn't. It just looks at it. Hey! Okay. Go ahead, have, him re have it re-roll. Yeah. <laughs> it hits it clean on. And its head kind of ricochets back before it turns back in place looking down at Cliff. And its gaze once again slowly turns towards Nestor. And it go goes one more time. Repentance. It Bad. takes no damage. No damage? <laughs> Immune to psychic. Interesting. I just wasted. It's I, I, horrifying, by I the way. wasted a so many mm -hmm. barbs on that. Oh, no, I have to the ace in There's the no hole reason. just got thrown out the window. What do I have to repent? What's going on. Oh no. <laughs> Nestor, does that end your turn? Um, yeah, because that's the only thing he could he could do for. I don't know what he has for and, bonus actions. And probably the cleanliness of his pants too. <laughs> so. At the end of Nestor's turn, he loses Condemn action. Oh no. Condemning Mother Nestor to be a lore keeper. Oh no. He now has a plus two to hit and advantage on the saving throws against you. Tap. Do, do, um, question. No, Can you're still condemned too. You're still Motherfucker! Con <laughs> you're still condemned too! That's a little broken if you don't mind me this is, saying. This is, this is technically a fight you're not supposed to win. But yeah, above board, <laughs> you guys aren't meant to win this. <clears throat> we are to struggle as long as possible. Yeah, and Jade's so gonna make sure you guys stay alive at the very least. <laughs> we are, we are to okay, so it's my it's my turn now. Yeah, Correct. it is your turn. You okay, may spend so. one full action to remove the sword and stand up for half the speed. Or oh, you are restrained otherwise. Uh, I don't have to move. He doesn't Correct. have you to. You are move. considered restrained. Let me check restrained rules. Does say uh I could still can I still attack? That's my question. Probably not. But if you but, but if you can, that'd be a disadvantage, I imagine. Considering your right. a well, I have... creature's speed becomes zero, it can't benefit from any bonus to its speed. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage, and the creature has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Because only one hand is pinned back, sir, you may use one hand to cast all of the semantic opponents for this piece. Me you can cast now, this. It has advantage on charisma on these saving throws against you. It rolls a twenty-three. Mm. Damn it. Would you like to use your extra attack action to stand up? Mm. 
Yes. Okay. So, you stand up. You manage to shake his boot off of you as it recoils back, pulling the greatsword out of your shoulder. And you get back up to your full height. Then what? Do I still- can I still attack and move around and stuff? You have a bonus action. And you have all of your movement. Alright. Uh... Okay, then. Let's see here. What can I do with my bonus action? I've already got Valve Emity on it. Hmm. Uh... What's up? Uh... You try to compel duel, probably. Yeah, if it's a bonus action, you can try it. Yeah. All right. What the? What does that do again? Capella can fight you one on one. Yeah, yeah but, but it's basically one v one, me bro. Um, no quick scopes, uh, dust only. <laughs> it's literally you, you. You tell it. You tell it. You. Me, okay, so no the thing is, it needs to make a wisdom save. Yep. Right. It's got advantage. I got. Hmm. Yeah, it's got advantage on that, and I don't want to. And I, I think I'm gonna start. You. Go. I'm. I think. I'm just gonna make a, another normal attack and use a div another divine smite. Yeah, you used your yeah, you used your full attack action to stand up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. All right. All right I'm gonna end my turn here for a bit. The rock. I gotta think. Hmm. Yeah, you're good. Brock's turn. What's the Brock do? What's the what's do, Nestor? Um, let's see. Um, he's going to have it uh, just make a multi. It go back to this creature and make a multi attack. Uh, you know, with its uh, talon and um, beak. Okay, if he doubts it's able to be poisoned, so that's the only other thing he could do at the moment. Fourteen, unfortunately, does not hit it. It's, it's, it's also got the um, the beak. Yep, I'm rolling it again. Don't worry. However, a twenty-three does. The beak, and it will take. Yep. Uh, talent actually. Oh, talent. Okay. Doesn't matter. It's just, it's eight, we'll so. take eight damage. However, it is actually immune to that because of Rock's talons do not count as magical. Oh my gosh! Oh, no! <laughs> I just imagined a Rock going baka. <laughs> it's like it's just, it's claws right off of it. it it's a uh, armor. It's like nothing happens. Yeah. Jason, what do you do now? <laughs> oh my gosh. Something in DMs. Uh, sure. Just for, just for clarity's sake, I want to make sure this will work. Or perhaps, okay. not, not, not like above board metagame stuff, I just want to make sure this is an avenue that can be taken. Well, well remember, it's, you got increased chance to hit it because the J put yeah. slow on it. No, no, I'm aware. I'm aware. You can try it. It will take one action. Oh, it was going to be while the swing was going in, because it was going to be no more than one. Okay, sure. Yeah, go for it. Just one second. I've got to get things in order here, because I've got to make sure I've got this. I've got, I've got to make sure I have this this set of two actions and bonus lined up. Sure. It's kind of a shame that Tinker isn't here, right? Yeah, he left at a perfect time.
How long does um last? Concentration up to a minute. You're asking about how smart how long so last yeah, yeah one it's like, minute, yeah. It's, it's a concentration up to a minute. So you did it on your turn. Six, twelve, 24, 30, 36. Okay. So, Jason is, like, at wit's fucking end right now. He... It, at this point, he's he's starting to go a little crazy inside his own armor. Like, it, this thing is... Everything he has... He has loathed, feared, and... Dis... And deigned since he took up this blade. To remind himself of his oath... While he makes this great sword swing in the 22 hit, Definitely. 22 does hit. He shouts, "The call of the dark is this burden I bear." Yeah, clean hit. Clean hit. A clean, 22 clean damage. through. Yeah, that definitely goes through. So he winds back and is getting ready for another swing. Sure. All right. Whoa! Holy Crit shit! on that one. That, that's also the divine boom, by the way. I already have two. Oh. You saving those or? <laughs> this it's will only apply. This will only apply five dark side bonus damage because dark side bonus damage is unaffected by critical hits. I don't know. False. It is. it is affected by criticals. Oh. Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. Dope. That's uh, eighteen plus nine slashing. So that's twenty-eight. That's twenty. No, twenty-seven. It's twenty-seven slashing damage he just dealt to this thing in in two fucking cleaves. Okay. Does it have a response to? The call of the dark is this burden I bear. And it, I walk to the end. And it takes the hit, and you feel a surge of darkness around it. It will not take an action on its next turn, but instead will be using one of its spells. Oh no. Fuck. Fucking fuck! <laughs> oh no! Damn it! Wait, wait a minute. Well of darkness! No! Are you fucking kidding? Are you? you know, it is <laughs> going to be hitting you. Four. We double check here on the map. <laughs> See, Jason had his suspicions. Now he's all too certain of what this thing is. Yeah. Or at least to some extent. Some extent, yeah. 17 necrotic damage. Hold on, question. He's making an attack against someone other than Cliff right now? It's a spell, it's a reaction. actually. It's a reaction. Wait, he can't well, take... Uh, wait, well, wait, um... wait, Cliff, wait a second. He can't take reactions, because I got to put Swole on him. It is not taking an action on its next turn. Oh, okay. Well, um, here's the thing, though. Uh, will this proc? It is a spell. Okay. Not an attack action. Oh. All right. So, after it says, and to it, I walk to the end, all of the darkness swirling around it engulfs Jason and starts whipping at him, leaving small slashes on his cheeks. Jason outright almost fucking crumples under this. Oh, jeez. His teeth are grit and bared. He is outright biting his he is outright biting his lower lip until it almost fucking In fact, it's actually probably bleeding. Yeah. He is he is outright like at wit's fucking end. This thing it, it is clear that whatever it is, it has roused every little demon, every little skeleton in the closet, and every fear that Jason has had up to this point. The dragon? Sure. Terrifying presence. He was in the moment, like, primally terrified. This thing has broken his fucking reason. Yeah. This is true terror. True terror. Alright. Are you? It utters one word. You. Oh, jeez. Does that... <laughs> so, <laughs> if any of you would like, you may make it insight check right now. I'm doing it. I mean, it's Jade, honestly. 26. I got a 7, never mind. 
Okay. Master, would you like to make an insight check? 19. So may, I, may, I burn the, may I burn my grudge point for Elvis to reroll? Yes, you if may. If you want. Reroll. Are you sure? <laughs> reroll, I'm fuck sure. Root. By the way, during this, I'm burning, um, I am, as my bonus action, I am burning, I'm using burning blood to expend a hit dice and I got a add six. the result back to my well of darkness. So you just wasted that grudge point. Yeah. yeah. Sad. So I'm rolling a D. I'm I'm rolling a. Those of you that rolled a five or higher. Oh, so you didn't really need now the grudge noticed that the voice that this creature speaks in sounds eerily similar to Jason's, but warped, almost like it sounds like it's talking underwater, or in some cases through a soup can. Uh, Jesus, I mean, Jesus is like, what? <laughs> is, no way. Yes. Uh, Jason, do you know that thing? Cause... Not even listening to Jade right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I imagine he wouldn't be. So is that your turn, or what, what, what's... does that end your turn? With, with burning blood is his bonus action. Yeah, with burning blood is his bonus action. Expending another hit dice to restore his well of darkness to full. That's his. Uh, that's his turn. Sounds yeah. good. Jade, your turn. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Jade is kind of frightened now. Not the not stats frightened, just kind of like. Oh jeez. Spoot. Yeah. I'm gonna throw a mass swing word out there. Level okay. four. Sure. Your targets. All right. So boom. Ten healing to everyone of, of, of allies, including Ezra. At this moment, Ezra comes to consciousness. He will come in at six initiative. I'll just add him. Yep. And as so I got he ten stirs, in. he looks at everything going on. He goes, oh. What in the hell happened? That thing attacked you. As, I'm, you lost I'm your arm, sure Ezra! As, as he's coming to, um, I'm pretty sure another thing he hears amidst the other scouting is Jason crying out to the thing. You not me! What would you say, Freeze? He said he, it's not him. He said, he's like, you're not me. You're not me, oh no. <laughs> he is denying this thing. Oh, Jade. No. Oh, no, free. I'm, I'm not done yet. Four. I was about to say. <laughs> no way am I done yet. I I, I can't exactly, um, you know, break my concentration. I got other things I can do, so, uh. So, let's see. I have, uh. I reduced the spell, so. Whew. What should I do? She's gonna take out her crossbow. Okay. And she's gonna, her hand crossbow rather, but like, uh, boom. It's also a plus one, so that means it's magical. Twenty-two hits. Nine, pi nine. nine piercing. Yep. That did do damage. Yes, it did. Not a whole lot. Arrow oh. kind of like goes in through like the face guards into the flame inside of it, and it just looks at her. And it doesn't say anything, it just looks. Uh -huh. <laughs> she's just she's definitely spooked now. Yeah, she's like loading <laughs> the crossbow bolt back in. Yeah, I don't like it. Bad touch, bad touch! <laughs> I know. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Alright. It just looks there and seeds. Uh, by the way, three of its turns have passed. It takes twenty seven damage. Oh do you mean <laughs> the thing? Yep. Minus 27. Yep. Oh boy. The only thing you can do is just stare into the soul of Jason. Paying no mind to anything else now. It ends its turn. What? It didn't do anything? Oh, yeah, geez. I told you, it was taking its one action for that reaction. Oh, okay, that's true. Oh, yeah, because of the slow. Yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you, Jade. 
Nestor, you're up. He's gonna like, after like that, seeing all that terrifying stuff, he's gonna try to like paralyze this thing again, but this time with. With. Hold person. It's not a person, technically, it's a. It counts. It counts? Okay. It, I, I'll say it counts. It counts as a it, humanoid? It, it, I will say it counts as a humanoid. Alright, good. It's human, it's vaguely human shape. That's a humanoid. Correct. And you need it to make a, what, a wisdom save? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, it has advantage against you. Yeah, 21. It succeeds. You feel like the sensation of it, like, you know, uh, you clench your hand together, like you're, 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 uh, essentially casting force grip, right? But you feel it fight against you and it pry your hands open away from you. Whatever this thing is, it's stronger than your magic. We're just kind of worrying because <laughs> Nestor's mother was weirdly one of the leaders of the Dragon Cult. So, <laughs> Nestor, anything else? I don't think he so. He doesn't know what to do. To do. He's just gonna like, like, like stay in his like slow blood circle and it's just like trying to. Just like grabbing at his head, it's just freaking out. Like this can't be happening. This can't be happening. Okay, Cliff, top of your turn. What do you do? Oh, okay, so so I'm gonna use my movement to get uh, go around it and get between myself, it, and Ezra. Sure. Now that Ezra's up. He, Cliff doesn't want this thing thing getting anywhere close to him. Sounds good. What do you do now? And I'm actually going to go right about here instead. So I'm right. So so I'm like side shoulder to shoulder with with uh, Jason, Jason. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna attack it with my lance. Sounds good. Roll for damage. Roll to hit. Roll for hit. Roll to hit. Sorry. Whoa! You hit. <laughs> Roll me damage. That's a divine boon. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. I've did. already got. I've already got my two. Oh, that's right. You do. And I'm gonna spit. Expend another use of my uh, divine smite. Sounds good. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. You yeah. hit it fucking hard. So after the first strike, <laughs> I, I I like pierce into its armor. Mm -hmm. I look behind over my shoulder, throw my shield up, up to uh, up so it, so it doesn't like try to hit me or anything. Ezra, how do we shut this thing down? You see him kind of like stirring as he like stands, and he's got his right hand placed over his head. You don't! That's the thing! So what? We run? For now! <clears throat> It'll be back soon! You best hope that that didn't kill it! Why? Are we trying to make sure it's, it's gone for now, or...? The thing with incinerators is that they always come back, and they come back stronger. Oh. Alright, hearing that... So Cliff, much... is gonna, Cliff is gonna grab... He did... I just wanna... Real quick. He did 33. Okay. Is that lethal? Uh, no. Okay, good. Okay, so hearing that... Um... Freeze. Is Jason... What sort of state is Jason in right now? He's battered, beaten, and completely fucking delirious. Okay, so... I want to nothing use my second... In the, like, nothing else in the world to him exists right now except for this monstrosity and his unholy need to kill it. Okay, so... Cliff is actually going to gra grab Jason... Jason, and he, I'm going to use my, my movement to pull him and Cliff out of there. As Jason is going to resist. Okay, okay strength. Uh, both of you, roll me athletics. Okay. Come on, Cliff. Uh, athletics. Damn it! That, that one! Yeah, you try to pick him up, but, like, Jason just bats your hand away. That's a good he point, is intent though. on fighting this thing. That is a good point. It's I'm using point, it. Though. I'm using it. I'm re-rolling. Go for it. Oh, you're using it? Okay. You're using the you have you using an existing crutch point or? 
I've never used a grudge point yet, so I have seven. I, I, I got seven from that one. I'm that it's back down one. to six. Twenty-seven. Oh jeez. Oh, hmm. Okay, so I am not provoking attacks of opportunity. I am moving us this way. Technically, it provokes uh, for Jason, right? No, because Cliff, because I'm pull, because I'm pulling Jason away on my turn. Oh. I. I'm going to say. Hmm? Here's what I'm gonna say. It will not provoke for Cliff because he has the feature. Okay. So doing this is going to proc an attack. Of right, I can Jason. I cancel that out this out then. Yes, you can. Okay. You uh, may use your point. action to try to convince him to move that this isn't a fight that we can win right now. All right. So pers would that, what would that be? Would persuasion. That Wait, would that interaction actually be like an action? I mean, yes. well, take, hold on. Technically, it would, take, would... it would take you an action to do the roll for it, and this is going to be a persuasion roll. It's going to be a contested roll against uh, a, I'm going to say, uh, wisdom. Give me, a, give me a wisdom save right now, Jason. <laughs> Nineteen. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Roll play it out. You... So, okay, so you heard the, you heard the elf. Come on. That's it. Go. I'll put. I'll guard our backs. He's gonna There's... look back up to that dark side, and he is, if it is truly him, remember our fucking promise. You said it wouldn't come to this. We said it wouldn't come to this. With that, he is going to take his exit and try and flee. Get okay. Ezra. So he is gonna on on the top of his. Ezra train, is already push. standing. And. Oh. <laughs> He's fucking bolting at a speed that you've only ever seen him do once. Yeah, <laughs> so on top of Jason, when Jason's turn come up, he's going to take a disengage and he's going to flee. Yeah. Okay. So. So, yeah, that's. Uh, All of us flee? Yeah. Um, the only person that would need to be an initiative would need to be Ios. Yes, sir. Because it mov it moves before him. Oh no, Cliff is not going to to let this thing go anywhere okay. un until everyone else is out of there. Because he doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity, and he's the fastest out of everyone here. Okay. Plus he plus he would like order this one to the rock to distract uh, this guy. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. So, so you guys have it pinned, I guess. I assume. Yeah. That's fine. Welcome to the end of combat. Oh, really? Okay, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Boom. You guys run. Yeah, and, and the as rock as fast as you can. The rock rock grapples it and tries to hold it down. For you as long hear just the sounds of the rock screeching and metal clanging and guttural roars from this creature. Stuff that's gonna keep you up at night. Please By the time us. you get back to the to the ship, all of you are winded. On and the ship is taking off. That what was you that? Keep you, guys, you keep your eyes trained in, on the horizon as the darkness appears to fade, only assuming that maybe this creature was quelled. But you can't be certain. Jason stumbles a little bit and fucking collapses, like right onto the railing. Oh, what the Jay. fuck just happened? <laughs> Ezra so, kind of like with his little his, before his severed you, arm. Do any, hold on, before Ezra starts to say anything, Cliff is actually going to grab you by the shirt and pull you over to him. You got five seconds to start talking. He snaps his fingers and he kind of like flies out of your hands like to your side, dusting himself off a bit. I was just about to get to that. I can explain. Jason as actually speaking up this time because he has experience with this kind of thing. By all means, and he kind of like lifts out his like now missing hand or what would have been his hand. Go on then. Yeah, Jason. While you're doing that, Cliff is gonna. His... Oh, boss, just let never, never mind. Go, go ahead. Go Jason ahead. lifts himself up barely onto his fucking great sword, just enough to stand upright. 
That's the same fucking thing that every Dark Knight is caught to pull from themselves when they need a little extra hit in the fight. Every time I call, all, every time I call that power, that fucking thing comes out. I don't know what it is, how it knows me, why it thinks it's me, or how it possessed that. But when a Dark Knight loses its way, a dark side steps out of the body to take its own revenge. Whatever that is, it has possessed something. Whatever, whatever that was, it's possessed it. And it's trying to take its revenge on its own terms. The fold and the weave probably let it in here. That is the that only is... way I could imagine it could come in here. That is likely. I think we're, we 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 should barely got out of there. Jason and coughs you up. Pray right. hope that that thing didn't die out there. If anything, hopefully it just it was closed within the flayed within the weed for for as it as the frog got it distracted. Because if that thing is, as you said, is out for revenge and will be continuing to, well, go after Ezra is, as Nestor's talking, just continue. Yeah, Jay, you can continue. If it's after Jay, if it's Jason who wants revenge once, we might have to see that thing again. And we definitely, and we definitely, and... We definitely could fight it again. Maybe I'm not even sure a banishment spell could work this time because that's because I don't know what plane it comes from, material or otherwise. Dark sides are parts of the souls of dark knights. They're native to whatever plane the dark knight came from. Ezra, I have a question, and I need like... a simple yes or no. You see him limping over, reaching into his little pouch and pulling out one of those spell cards that he has, and he's going to hit, flick it as it burns away, and it's going to cast Heal Pulse for the two of them. It's like a heal pulse. And he like, yep. He heals everyone, technically. Well, right, so that's 10 health back, Jason's back up to a fucking 58. Good he Lord. like, hits the wall and then slumps against it. Yes. That thing. I I heard something about time, right? It's it's it it, it fixes timelines. The incinerator How... is a being, a construct created by the timekeeper. It's gifts given to us that allow us to work outside of our own means. There had been talks of one getting away from a timekeeper at one point. I myself have don't even have any in my own personal collection. How possible is it that is it possible that thing is me? Because if so, I think I know where our next stop is to quell this thing's fury. Well, yes or no, could it be me? I have not heard any stories of a soul latching onto an incinerator, but don't think that that's out of the realm of possibility. A dark side doesn't even need a human body, a, a body of any race for that matter. It can latch onto constructs, golems, creatures, fuck, even plants, to assemble something of a form to take its revenge, and it will not stop until it does. That thing is pure fucking malice. Then, I think you have your answer, then. As for me, and he lifts his, like, nub of an arm up, I'm going to go visit Tinker and see if he can do something about this. Yeah, we'll just say he's on the, down below instead of, like, on the deck. I'm just Tell gonna go to bed. I'm just with... gonna go to bed after all this. Or Nestor's just gonna go to Nestor, okay. Before Ezra leaves, he is going to tell... He, Jason is going to tell Ezra, 
water course for Whiteford. I'll let him know. He doesn't even bat an eye at the, the name of the, me the mention of the place. Uh, this is weird. Should, so should we would like to make history checks? Shouldn't we return to the um, council first before we go there? If we can, yes. There... Then after, we need to go to Whiteford. Uh, Alright. Uh... I can't select the token. What's going on? I can't... What, what do you mean you can't select the token? Can't select Dexter's token to move him. That's weird. It, should, it says you should have be, be able to control him. Do, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll how about delete him. that Nestor token and then that, have That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. I, yeah. No, 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 no. I fixed it. I fixed it. I was just on a different layer. Because <laughs> <laughs> that man was on that sneaky layer. Oh, yeah. He is a co DM, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here he is ba in bed. He's just like. <laughs> He's probably going to have nightmares. So, <laughs> would anyone know anything about the town of Whiteford? I don't know history check. Jade's a bar. Um, Cl Cliff has uh, go gone to a number of different places. I'll roll, roll history as well. Uh, and I can... Uh, uh, and Nestor, you're in, in fact, bed. In fact... Nestor, you're in bed. You didn't, yeah, that, Nestor's that, in that, bed. He wouldn't have heard about it. I guess this is before, while he's like on his way to bed. Like, nah, he could have no. Liked you, you, you went, you went yeah. to bed, and you say you went to bed. I mean, Dang unless it. unless the order of operations was Ezra leaves, Jason says it, then Nestor goes to bed? No, no. I, I have to say it. Uh, that, okay. that, that didn't count. Okay, okay, so question. Since I have proficiency with cartographer's tools, that means I'm able to discern history of certain landmarks and, and things like that. Should I roll the click on the tar cartographer tools or roll a history check on it in general? History. Probably history. This right, would just so. be, yeah, this would just be history. Yeah. Six plus my proficiency. Ten. I think Jade would know right. it though. That's a twenty. Yeah. So Jade, definitely. Jade's performed here before. At least she was supposed to. Yeah, she was probably supposed to. Probably of like a few years Lifts? ago. Cliff's heard stories. Never I been there before. His his duties have never brought him there. Whiteford is a fucking cursed town. It is hounded consistently by infernals. It is allegedly allegedly Infer infernals are fiends. Infernals Infern fiends. The all all of the all of the hellish creatures. It's said that long ago. The the dark seed of the dark seed of a of a true human emotion was planted into the heart of a young woman who grew to be the first dark knight. Their order seldom, of course, is tied to Whiteford. Whiteford used to be a small fishing hamlet, but has since been laid to ruin. When, how, how, the I mean, population you're... the population there is bound to the town. They can't leave. So I'm gonna say right now, um, would uh, how many years ago was this? Um, let's see here. I gotta check Jason's sheet because I gotta check his age. The first Dark Knight would have cropped up well, well over thirty to forty years ago, possibly even fifty years ago. Half, what, half a century has probably passed since the first Dark Knight came and went. So I mean, like when when the Infernals took over or whatever. The Infernals took over shortly after and have consistently hounded the town since. So how many years was that? That would be about thirty to thirty-five years ago. Darn it! Okay. Would way. make sense why why Cliff's travels would never go there. I doubt any mer any uh, caravans would be be willing to go into a town plagued by now. By stuff rarely, like that. Rarely, Jade would know this. Rarely, people are exiled from there, believed to have borne the same seed of the dark. The pieces have come together. Jason's from Whiteford. J Jade just kind of like stays silent for a few seconds before sa saying, "Are you? Wait, I am. That's. That's a." Uh... Quite a bit to take in. Exiled uh, at 16. Heavy. The elder I'm not just talking about my armor. I don't need any fucking wisecracks. He actually snaps at Cliff. Oh. 
this is a plot some 50 years in the damned making, and it's just gonna get in the fucking way. If nothing else, I'll heal up the best I can. You drop me off, I'll handle it myself. No, we're a team. If this thing should... is me, I need to find out where where a woman I promised to find again is. We're... I promised her I wouldn't lose my way. I promised her I wouldn't let this thing get out of control, and... Well, if a me somewhere has, I don't know exactly how this thing came to be, but if it gets back to her before I do, that promise is broken, and, well, so too the vows of an eventual marriage. It would have been the only way I could have gotten Myrna out of there. He shakes his head. It's not important. It's not important. The point is, if, if we don't beat this fucking thing there, it will never leave. I need to find this woman. I need to make sure she's okay. And I need to show this thing that she's still alive. I know she is. I haven't failed her yet. I've heard, I've heard of that place. Isn't it like, like a ghost town? Practically. We live, in the, we live under shelters. We live inside cellars and basements. And we try and make do with what we can. Unless we're banished by an elder. We can't leave. I was supposed to perform there a long time ago, but my, well, the person who at the time handled my my uh, performances said again, uh, said that I shouldn't go there. If you would have, they would have bound you to the city too. You would have been no more a prisoner than the rest of us. And... Every once in a while, we're invaded by, by monsters. We're not sure why. We're not sure how. None of us are told, but they come in. They kidnap us, and they leave without traces. They left a few of us alone. Those that were touched by this... He's hes referring to this whole situation, the, the dark side and all that other good stuff. Those that were touched by this, they... The monsters leave us alone. Those that aren't, however, they, they're taken. If something happened to Myrna, and that thing got loose then, well, we might as well pay the city a visit, or the town a visit, rather. It's no more a city than you would call a shipwreck, a seafaring vessel. How about we visit there after we um, take Macath back to the council? That's been my thought, yes. We plot a course for Whiteford after we get Macath back and settle this thing. Alright, at that point, I'm going to just say you guys, uh, do that because it's getting close to three hours now. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna say right now that you guys do um, take McCath back to uh, the council of wherever that is, Water Deep or whatever. Jason's gonna stay behind on the airship, he's not gonna accompany the others here. And while we are um, in the shop or in the in the city, then uh, before we go, Cliff is gonna walk up to Jason. Just okay. You need what? anything in the city? You need anything while we're in the city? New, new, better armor, weapon. If you can get me some proper plate, that'd be nice. But I doubt it. Jason's gonna look over his his blade, and if you think you can get this fixed up, something a little harder for the days to come, something a little faster, a little stronger, anything to improve it, do it. I'm sure Tinker can do something about... I'm not about can... to let you all bear the burdens of my sins. I, I might be... My father's, or those before them. He shakes his head and he's just going to saunter off after that. He's told him what he needs to. He's clearly not in a good spot. Okay, I... so you... Um, Silver, using the connections that the council would have, Cliff is going to... To ask for to, for some better armor for one of their members. Well, they're not gonna um just do that like. Yeah, yeah, but he's going to ask for for like a uh for um a local shop that would have something good for him. The marketplace nearby still has um stuff like that. You know the place where the carnival was. I, I don't have like a better uh, map for that. I don't have right. like a better map for that. Sorry. Yeah, all right. Um, uh, but so, um. In that case, Cliff is going to go to a local, 
local blacksmith and see if he can get his hands on some some what what would you like Jay? what would jason like some heavy plate armor or he, he's already said it plate and he's handed off his sword to see if they can get it reinforced somehow other than that he doesn't seem to mind or care all right guys i'm gonna end it there and uh one more thing before i would do yeah you have love Oh, oh. level dark nights. Because you did complete the chapter technically, so. So everyone else also gets a level when they come back as well. Yes. Levels. However, uh, I will say Whiteford will maybe be a a bonus dux. Yeah. yeah Whiteford's definitely gonna be a bonus dux. Oh, don't. So, yeah, probably most likely. Yeah, I'm but... level eleven. Okay, launch level plus character mantle, right? Yeah, yes. I'm, we're, we're yep. going to um, end the recording here, and we can just do the, you know, all that other stuff, um, like the leveling and everything, after talks, uh, after this. I hope you all had fun, and goodbye. Boom.